lovely YouTube people welcome in if this is your first time seeing my channel I'm so thrilled that you're here if you are coming back either from watching any of my other playthroughs or watching my Final Fantasy 7 playthrough I'm so thrilled that you're here welcome welcome back we had a goal in Twitch to try and reach 300 plus um, partner plus points and Twitch chat smashed it the reward for doing that was to cosplay as Scarlet which is why I am dressed and look like this today for better or for worse, um, this is not how I ordinarily look. So in future episodes of this, do not expect me to look like this. I'm so monumentally excited to play Final Fantasy Rebirth. I've not played any of Final Fantasy OG, the original games. The only other Final Fantasy game that I played before this was Final Fantasy 16. I massively enjoyed Final Fantasy 7 Remake. I'm so thrilled for this. I have not seen any trailers for the game. I've not played the demos and I've stayed off social media as much as possible. So I'm going into this with as little information as I can possibly muster. Um, and yet still exists as a person online, which makes me so happy because I get to experience this all firsthand with you guys. You get to see my firsthand reactions. If you do choose to stick around with me in this playthrough or just stick around with me in this episode, I just ask that you keep that in mind. I am the type of player who, when I'm playing these games, I like to analyze certain things. I like to give theories about certain things. You'll hear me kind of talk through some of these thoughts, but remember that I may say things that are incorrect. I may say things that are wrong. I may say things about a character that doesn't match where they end up being. Uh, and that's all because I don't I don't know them and I don't have information about them. So I'm just kindly asking that those of you, um, whether you're in Twitch chat or you are in uh, the lovely YouTube, please um, don't write comments about things that may happen um, because I don't want, I love reading comments. I wanna be able to interact with the lovely people on YouTube and respond to comments. Um, so I'm just kindly asking that you don't write some things. Maybe something that you write that may not seem like a spoiler, but it is. Um, or even just like hinting that I'll be wrong about something is kind of a spoiler in and of itself. And the very last thing I'll say before we get into the game, uh, I know I did mention that this was a reward for the lovely Twitch chat, that's why I'm dressed as Scarlet right now, but I would love to involve the lovely YouTube uh, community, my YouTube lovelies in this as well. We if, want to come up with incentives, so if there are things that you would love to see in, in stream or in these videos, what have you, please write them in the comments. Um, I would love to, to read and share it with you guys. So thank you for being here, and I guess let's get on with the game, although we do have some settings that we need to sort out okay so first of all options i think we need to turn down the music volume let's maybe leave it at eight and we'll see if that's still too loud i know this intro music's quite loud um but we'll we'll see if this works <laughs> girl that's what i cosplay you are scarlet thank you so much stro how's it going lovely how are you uh, we are in graphics mode. We want to stay in graphics mode. That is the plan, I think. Um, so I think we want to watch the story so far, right, guys? That's what I should be watching next. We will grab bonuses first. Great! Da -da -da. Claim your Leviathan summoning materia by selecting DLC bonuses in the system section of the main menu. Ramu, who's Leviathan? Okay, interesting. We'll figure that out when we do. Yeah, the title screen music's always louder than the rest. Yeah. I didn't even have Leviathan in the remake. I know. That's why I was like, rut ruh raggy. Uh, but let's watch the story so far. And we'll see how the volume is. Lovely Twitch chat, please so let me know. Much to tell. Where should I even start? I mean, how true is that? <laughs> With all that we saw. What we heard, what we felt, this planet of ours, destiny, our part in it. Volume's Best to good. start at the beginning, perhaps. Midgar, the city of Mako. This makes it look so much bigger than it is, but it is this big. Company, I just who yeah. dreamed the planet of its very essence, the life stream processed it for industry as Mako. Our world was dying, and so few could hear her Oh, it's the flower! It's the same flower! Those who could rose up in her defense. 
The anti Shinra rebels. Avalanche. Among them, Cloud Strike. I love that Night name. Soldier, hired by the Resistance to destroy Reactor One. Here we go. Now this is more of the recap stuff. In Sector Eight, amidst the aftermath of the attack, Cloud met a flower seller named Aerith. She offered him a yellow blossom. I guess why would she? One said to hmm. symbolize reunion. And thus was destiny set in motion. With Reactor One gone, Avalanche set their sights on Mako Reactor Five. Unfortunately, they were playing right into Shinra's hands. The company was able to draw the wool over the people's eyes. And in the end, destroyed Sector Seven, killing thousands and laying the blame at Avalanche's feet. Though dear friends were lost, Avalanche had no time to grieve. Aerith had struck a deal with Shinra, who took her into custody. With her capture, Shinra's obsession was within reach. The fabled promised land. Mm -hmm. okay. For Aerith was the last of the Setra, the ancient stewards of the planet. Setra. And only she could guide them to paradise. To save her, the team infiltrated the Shinra building, the company's beating heart. It was here that I, another person, uh -huh, okay. their story and assisted them in freeing Aerith. I had wondered if it was Red narrating this. Yet during our flight, we came face to face with a man thought dead. The vaunted war hero, Sephiroth. Vaunted? That's a good word. Before he could be stopped, Cloud's foe fled with the corpse of Genova, the cataclysm from the stars, and the catalyst of our plight. Okay. Eventually, we too made good our escape. Pursuing troopers defeated, we raced toward Midgar's edge. Yet Sephiroth once again intervened. Suddenly, deafening screams rent the air. Whispers, the arbiters of fate, descended upon the city. Before their imposing wall, Aerith warned us. This was destiny's crossroads. Every moment, every action, every step taken, had all been as the whispers willed it. To fight them was to break free. On the other side of fate, Sephiroth waited, the whispers undulating within him. Cloud brought his blade down upon his rival, sundering destiny. The fight won. The shackles of destiny broken. We stood before the unknown, a world of boundless freedom. It was there, beyond where fate could follow, that a new journey began. Okay, good stuff. Obviously, great to watch that so we could check audio volumes. More importantly, even though we just finished playing Final Fantasy VII and didn't need the recap, I genuinely, generally love to watch recap footage because they highlight what they find to be most important, if that makes sense. So it's a good kind of like, okay. And then frankly, to have them maybe explain certain things or like use certain language that maybe would have been lost on us as we're playing the game. So I think that that all was, it was like worthwhile doing. Okay, we've seen the recap. We've got on our bonuses. It's time to actually play the game. I'm nervous. Uh, default camera controls. Wireless controller speaker settings. Toggle whether, toggle whether or not sounds such as dialogue or effects will play from the wireless controller speaker. We are gonna keep that off. Ah, interesting. 
I hear it playing in my headphones now. Make sure to play on dynamic. Okay, I thank you, welcome in Losky. I didn't pass that setting, I don't think. Here we go, okay. Oh wait, uh, certain difficulty of the game. This setting can be changed at any time in the options menu. And will enemy difficulty adjust automatically based on your skill level? It's like this if you love the thrill of the fight. Okay, which I guess then means that it will scale even if I'm not doing well. Dynamic levels up enemies as you level up. Oh, so it's always even. Ah, uh, if you're shit, you'll be okay. Mom, I'm being bullied. <laughs> Raise the bar to the scale at your level. I can change it at any time. This setting can be changed at any time. So let's start with dynamic. You know, effort. Why not? We have. I've been goaded into doing it now. Uh, select which type of combat you prefer. Active for those who want to have complete control of their actions in combat. Actions are performed automatically for those who want to focus on executing commands. No, I think we should do active. I think active makes the most sense. I, I don't see where I could change this. Um, I assume I'm correct in thinking active is the move, right guys? You're a FromSoft player. Yeah, I can handle hard mode. Yeah. Four then still feels easy. Oh, interesting, Zalet. Okay, interesting. Okay, here we go. Oh my god. Oh! Cloud. Oh my god, he's so attractive. Oh, this is from the end of the last game. Nice. I definitely did this correctly on my first go, and anyone who says otherwise is a liar. So pretty. Oh my god. I'm waiting, Cloud. Oh, why was that attractive, guys? I'm here on the Midgar Expressway. The scene is indescribable. Countless buildings have been leveled, and part of the road has collapsed. Wow. The smoke rising from the rubble is reminiscent of a funeral pyre. He is selling it, okay. Of course, this is only the most recent in a series of crises. Multiple reactor bombings, followed by the fall of the... <sighs> The fall of the Sector 7 plate, culminating in this unprecedented destruction. Wow, caused by a massive look tornado it, which swept through Sector 0, 1, and 2. After a briefing with Shinra investigators, Mayor Domino released a statement declaring the tornado to be, quote, weather warfare, perpetrated by the infamous insurgent group known as Avalanche. The administration also suspects the involvement of Wutai and has begun investigations into the matter. We did play the DLC, I should say that. Intermission, intermission DLC. Oh my gosh, the dog. I forget the name of the dog. I want to say Scamp, but it's not that. It does begin with an S though, I think. Incredible. I mean, I know this is a pre-rendered scene and we do have it on graphics mode, but I feel like this just looks heads and shoulders above the base game. Thanks, lovelies, for the follows. Welcome in. Great piece of music. Stamp. Thank you, it's Stamp. What did I say? Scamp? I was close. Oh my god. This is happening. Con but this can't be happening concurrently. This has to be from the past or something. But it's destroyed, so it has to be the present. Oh no, maybe it's not destroyed, it just. Or maybe it's not built yet. Maybe they're in the middle of building it. 
so maybe this is the past. Oh, did... Of course. This is only the most recent in a series of crises. Multiple reactor bombings, followed by the fall of the... It but it's the fall awesome. of the Sector 7 place. Boy, that tornado really did a number on the city. I thought another reactor blew up. Which must have been caused by the tornado. Man, when it rains, it pours. As you can see. Oh, over there. Amidst the wreckage of the expressway, search and rescue operations are already in progress. Okay. We still have one soldier right. to account for. F soldier, armed with a buster sword. Highly dangerous. Why aren't they all armed with buster swords? I repeat. Because Zach has one. is an ex-soldier armed with a buster sword. Huh? Back over here. Get him on board. Barrett? The rescue team has pulled people from the rubble. Oh my god, I'm already confused. Get the camera off him. <laughs> uh oh. Come on. This way. Contact the SAR team. Targets have been secured. And red. We've not seen. Now. I think that's Aerith behind them. Yes. Okay. What? Oh, and he. We know Zach was looking for Aerith. Kyrie is wearing the same outfit, obviously wanting to avoid Zach. She knows Excuse that. Excuse me. Could you look after my friend? Just for a bit. Zach doesn't Too much Mako. Him. But he'll be fine. Hey! <laughs> and Cloud has both pauldrons. So he's wearing his, like, full uniform. Aerith! Oh, shit! Go, I love red. Oh, shit. Okay. Woo. Whoa. It looks beautiful. I can't believe we're controlling Zach. Okay, well, I'll say this much. This is not where I expected the game to pick up. I expected that the game was going to pick up uh, when we last saw our four protagonists they were en route to a city whose name i cannot remember right now so i expected we were going to pick up on the road with them um but we obviously did not pick up there we are controlling zach after the blow up of reactor seven we are now brought here i have a lot of questions but i don't want any of them answered and also you guys will hear me oh i can't i can't attack no, I cannot attack these. I can't attack any of these boxes. Okay. You guys will also hear me. Like, I'll be theorizing a lot. I'll be talking through. I'll be talking through, like, theories, or I'll probably be, like, posing. Um, rhetorical questions, please don't um, answer them. I'll ask you guys explicitly if I want to know something, but otherwise this is me just kind of talking through thoughts or theories. Interesting. I mean, it looks fantastic. Ignore the streamer, yeah, totally, totally. He's got a buster sword. Combo charge? I mean, that feels great. No oh, he's so cool. You know what I loved in 16? Was that there was uh, an attack that would bring me closer to enemies. It made, like, dancing about a lot easier. I would love something like that. Oh my god. 
I do fear I'm in love. It's what I look for in a man. If you can't take down a helicopter single-handedly. His co- Oh my god! But I actually don't even see where my health pool is. I guess he can't possibly fail this. But that can't be right. There has to be a way to fail this. I just hope I don't see it. Also, I'm sorry. I know I'm not chatting with you guys, but we're in the thick of it. Java, you can't fall for everyone. Yes, I can. When they're all hot like this. <gasps> no. Are you not going to check on red? I'm distraught. Just shut the hell up and search. This is so messed up. All of it. But I'm back now, Aaron. I'm back. Very tender. Very tender with her. Oh! Is that a materia? That's the materia from her bow. We were literally just talking about this. I think it's materia. Tell the rest of us about you and your buddy Sephiroth. Sure. If Tifa doesn't mind. Me? Why yeah, would Tifa mind? No problem. It's It all started five years ago. I was 16 at the time. There was hardly any work for soldiers back Okay, then. so he's 21. The little there was, it was boring as hell. My heart wasn't in it. Then, out of nowhere, the job of a lifetime came up. A mission with Sephiroth. I couldn't believe my luck. Fall of a hero, okay. It's really coming down, huh? Hey man, feeling any better? I'm good. Sure don't look it. I wish I could help, but never been motion sick. Sorry, man. Can't relate. Sorry. But we do have Ready a question answered. Yeah, you bet. And I'll tell you what that is in a second. He does seem chipper, huh? I mean, he's younger, but he hey, seems to have more of that, like, bravado. Sorry. No can do. Yeah. Kids. Say, I'd like to be brief on the mission at some point. Because if it's another one of those Turks gigs, you can let me off right here. Really? Finally make first. What do they do? Call a ceasefire with Wu Tai. Stealing my shot at glory. They have DH the voice well, well, whoever's right? doing this. I joined up so I could be a hero, like you. <laughs> well, our mission is to survey a rundown reactor. Another one of those Turks gigs. <sighs> Fine. Job's a job, I guess. Where is it? Nibelheim. Nibelheim? That's where I grew up. 
Okay. Got some fiends at our twelve. Let's go. I'd asked a lot whether or not Cloud's missing a pauldron because he's been away from Soldier for a while, or if it was a stylistic choice. But we can see clearly you here take one, I'll take the other. that he used to wear two pauldrons. Incredible. I didn't know. Oh my god, the zooming. They're so mean for doing this. No, 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 no. I just want to... Damn it, it's run out of charge. I did that terribly. Oh, it's so cool though. I guess photosensitivity warning potentially. They're so mean for doing that because I just want to do it again. He was in a different league from the rest of us. Calm present day. Hey, Tarnish, thank you so much. Nibelheim. Thank you guys for the follows That's as well. Where Welcome they in. Built the first reactor. Okay. Right? Yeah. It all started in the fall. Something was wrong with the reactor, and the whole village was up in arms. Talk of strange new monsters on the mountain only made things worse. People were scared, desperate. The villagers tried to take care of the monsters themselves, but it was no good. They ended up calling Shinra. So the company sent help. Best they had. Oh sh Okay, we're still in the past. Home sweet home, right? Tell me, how does it feel? I have no home, so I wouldn't know. Uh you still got parents though, right? A mother named Genova. She died shortly after I was born. My father. Oh there. Genova? Like from the Shinra building? Yeah. Don't worry. I'm getting them back. Cute. Okay. I like that. <laughs> hey, username tonight. Welcome in, lovey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Why am I talking about this? Come on. Let's go. Hope I didn't keep you waiting. I'm Xander. The mayor here. He's a cute boy. I wanted to greet you myself. Skizzy, uh, thank you so welcome much. Welcome you to our humble little town. Please, if you'll follow me. Consider yourself off duty till sundown. <sighs> okay. Taking a moment to pause here, because there's a lot that just happened. We were essentially in like a cutscene, even though there were some combat moments. We were pretty much in cutscenes from like top to toe. First of all, massive thank you for the follows. Welcome in, lovies. Hey, Blue Explosion, how's it going? I adore all of you. Obviously, I'm very focused on like cutscene and what's going on. So, in ordinarily, I am quite interactive with you guys, but we'll get there. Um, I am still. So, when we first saw, saw Zach and Cloud together, at the end of the previous game, I was under the impression, I think that it was from the past. It was like a flashback. But if we take obviously what we've seen just now, 
it can't have been from the past because they're reacting to things that happened in the present day. And so what I have to assume is happening and reminder, I don't want anyone to confirm or deny this. Don't let me know. But what I have to assume is happening is that there are two concurrent timelines going on. We know that the whispers you, we uh, uh, Aerith stops us and she goes like this is the crossroad of destiny or something like that um, and we know that doing what we did with Sephiroth I think maybe potentially ripped a hole in the space time continuum I don't know that's my sort of feeling and assumption right now obviously please don't confirm with tonight um, because I can't find any other way to rationalize knowing what we knew which is us leaving midgar on our way to kel i can't remember the name of the place i'm so sorry i know it begins with a k on our way to that place uh calm 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 on our way to calm but then also the helicopters crashing and whatnot so it seems like there was a, a time where we got caught in the reactor blow up i don't know is it a multiverse maybe fly by night we get spider-man swooping in doctor strange fiddles with the all that this that and the other we are in the same room drama i know sorry yeah hey no one knows what's happening yeah exactly hey icons how's it going welcome in guys Thank you, thank you, thank you. It means the world to me. Thank you guys also for the lovely messages. Thank you, Lotus, for the theorizing, for the, for the compliments. I, I am surprised. We saw Eris' ribbon come undone. I made a comment um, when that happened saying, oh my God, we were just talking about this because at the end of the DLC, there are cutscenes for, cutscenes that include our main protagonists. And it was sometime during that that I was like, oh, I've just noticed that we, like, or I, oh, I had made a comment about like how it bothered me that Aerith's material was underneath her bow, but that we couldn't see it. I don't know. Anyway, um, it was it was mentioned that it was important that that is the case. We noticed that Zach doesn't pick up the materia, um, or at least we, I don't think he picks it up. We have a lot of questions. I will also say. Um, Controlling Sephiroth feels fantastic. The combat is feeling interesting. It's a lot, I'm like just getting used to it. I'm obviously not doing it as well as I could be, but we'll get there, okay? We'll get there. Great detail tracking so far. It makes your theories all the more interesting to hear. Okay, fantastic, fantastic. Uh, main menu, you press the burger to open the main menu. From there, you can review your party's uh, stats, inspect your inventory and change your equipment. You can also adjust various settings in the options. Yeah, okay, cool. Moving options, press uh, O to roll forwards or jump over certain terrain. The action cloud performance will change depending on the environment. Oh, interesting. It looks like there's a, no, it looks like there's a pseudo level of free climbing. It's not quite free climbing, but they found a way because it's more open world that you can more easily navigate around, which is cool. Um, okay, and we have a mini map up above us. We do not have reason, like ways to change the minimap, but I guess we don't need any just yet. So, any friends here you want to see? Maybe a girlfriend? Why would you think that? Backwater is an understatement. Don't blame you for getting the hell out of here. Oh, maybe because Tifa's here. They got anything worth eating? Oh, maybe Tifa is here. Because this is my hometown and we know we're childhood friends with Tifa and there might be something that we discover, something unpleasant that happens between Tifa and Sephiroth and then that's why Cloud said, hey, are you okay if I talk about Sephiroth? I'm just clocking that. The other thing that I do want to clock, uh, that I do want to say that I notice, the names in Final Fantasy VII are loosely re related to Norse mythology names. So Midgar We're is... So glad you're here. Thank you. Yes, Midgar is closely related to... No, Mid... Midgar. It's called Midgar. And then Nib Nibelheim, where are we right now? There. I can't open the map. But Nibelheim is close to Niflheim or Niflheim. Midgar. Midgar is Midgar in both, I think, right? 
trying to help me round up. Midgard, thank you, it's Midgard. I was like, I know it's close, but not quite right. Can I pet the dog? No. Who said my name? What do you think Sephiroth's like when he's not on duty? Nothing we can do about the mountain and all I swear someone said, Oh my god, Cloud. Oh, you need to do Cute, looks great. Hey, are you like a famous person? Totally. I'm a soldier. Fiends are out and about, all right. Yeah, it's mid Midgar, Midgar, but they call it Mid. Yeah, yeah. yeah. In Norse mythology, it's Midgard. Midgar wishes its water tasted as fresh as ours. Yes. But I thought that was like that's interesting. It's like Norse mythology, I assume, for some reason, or maybe not, just because the names sound great, and that's why it's like that. Soldier, good to see you. How about a taste of home before you go? Little about face. I'm so hungry. That looks amazing. Wait a minute. Is that Cloud? Silly boy. You should have let us know you'd be paying us a visit. The taste reminds you of home. That's so cute. Don't make any trouble for it is incredibly hot when he's not on duty. Exactly. Yeah, it's zero out of ten game because you can't pet the dog. It uninstall immediately. Sephiroth also comes from mythology or religion or something, does it? Interesting. The inn. Getting your bearings. Uh, press that to view your current position on a map. Yep, okay. Bizap, welcome in. Neathog, Neathog, Neathog Hotel. I think that's how you pronounce that. Look, guys, we're connecting the dots. We're connecting the dots. The inn, okay. Oh, sorry, Bizat, welcome in. Nibelheim, and uh, Nibelheim means a home of cloud, if translated literally. Fascinating to know. Thank you so much for saying that. That is wildly. Oh my god. <laughs> The map is huge. I don't know how much of this we'll be able to explore, but I feel so overwhelmed. It just keeps going. What is this? Don't tell me. Obviously, don't tell me. Or maybe not obviously, but hopefully, obviously, please don't tell me. Good lord. Uh, I think it's safe to say this is going to be a much bigger game <laughs> than the other one. Hey, Battle Fries, how's it going? Thank you. Did you play the demo? No, this is my first time playing this part. I did not play the demo. I did not watch a trailer. Um, I've done nothing. I'm experiencing this all with you guys for the first time. City folk are so, so just letting you guys know. Can only yeah. imagine what their lives must be like. Wow. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> hmm. A soldier. I just wasn't expecting it so loud. Richard Sangam, a humble traveler of the world and teacher of martial arts to the youth. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Sir. Well toned, but lacking mass. You need to bulk up. Who asked you? You could learn a lot from me. Pass. Don't be shy. I have many pupils your age. At last count, 128. In fact, one of them's from this very village. Tifa. Perhaps you know her. I'm so smart, Sir. chat. My head is swelling. A real talent, that one. She'll go far. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, right? Got anything to say for yourself? Baby Tifa. I didn't know. Okay, very well-timed hydrate. Kitsune Wraith, too bloody right, huh? 
<laughs> is it Connery or Clooney? Honestly, both. I didn't have to make him this hot. Yeah, remember when you last went to stop? No, stop. <laughs> Love our perceptive job. Is he he? I'm so smart, guys. I'm so smart. Where Where is she? Where is Am I being silly? Where is she? I'd be interested to see how one of Shinra's finest fights. Okay. Hydrate because the thirst is real. We're going to be thirsting over everyone, dude. Ah, hello there. All our rooms are reserved for you, Shinra boy, so take your pick. Nice. You'll find them dressed up. Huh? No. Cloud? My, my. Get a load of you. And you've only been away a couple of years. Wait, I'm so confused. Should we not see Tifa here? Tifa was just talking to us. Hey, Nestus, thank you so much for the lurk. Hi. Thank you all for the follows. Hey, Andrew. It is. It's a brief jump back to the future voice. Oh, got it. Explore the city more. Oh, okay, okay. We'll come back. We'll come back. Oh, it was the current time, Tifa. You're right. I'm sorry. I forget that. And it is quite interesting how they've done this. Um, like when, like when um, Barrett like paused the screen. Uh, oh, 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 no, not the main scenario. Oh my god! But there are a whole bunch of things I can do for the main scenario. It's so weird, everyone cheering for Sephiroth. I do like how they've done that though, like the real time break, but I forgot that that was a thing. So like, thank you. I forgot that Barrett had done it already. Don't make any trouble for Sephiroth. Uh, talk to you. Sephiroth's in there right now. So I probably- Kill for a shot of him. But I should probably wait till later, huh? Don't make any trouble for Sephiroth. So they're very respectful of Sephiroth, clearly. He and when we knew that, we knew that he was like hyped up by a lot of people. Um, so it's not totally surprising to hear everyone kind of amp him up like that. You can go up, it's okay. Wait, you can progress everything except the inn. Yeah. Okay. So wait, just be careful exploring before going back to the hotel. Hey, Brendan, welcome in. Well, I guess. Staring up all the time gives me terrible neck cramps. Uh, no wait, okay. So, what, what? I shouldn't. I should leave the hotel for last. Is that what you guys are saying? Because I do want to explore. It just seems like, and then this is back to the front. I think, right? Yeah, that leads us back out. Oh no, maybe no. Maybe this is a different. No, we entered from here. Yeah, we entered from here. Okay. Hotel last. Okay. The inn moves the story. Uh, all right, all right. Well, that was helpful. Thank you, guys. And, like, that kind of back seating is definitely... Oh! Nice! Oh, what? Photo mode! Oh, cute. You can press square while and pause menu or main menu to open photo mode. Great. Um, that kind of back seating is helpful because you're not obviously, like, telling me things to do or where to go but you're letting me know like hey if you do this you might regret because you'll miss out on other stuff so that kind of stuff is helpful yeah came out today yeah i know andrew i know but i'm thrilled because it means that people can hang out with me so how did it feel being back up there oh yes there was a cutscene and remake of them up know. here Nostalgic, I, think. I guess after two years away you know that uh-huh Okay, I feel like it's they're punctuating the fact that we're looking through that window. So we'll mentally file that away 
Although I don't think that's the it, maybe that's the end, but I don't think it's the end. That's true. Sometimes it does lead to spoilers, which we definitely do want to avoid. Um, this is the general store? Yeah, general store. Well, I don't know what I want to buy. Ah, Shinra's here, I see. Thank you for coming. You're Shinra? Mm -hmm. Shinra? Oh, whoops. I didn't recognize you, Cloud. How oh, you've grown. Mm hmm. Cuties. Uh, it seems that they won't let us buy anything anyway. But that's nice that you can walk through and see. I mean, we all knew this was going to be the case, so it's not remotely surprising. Uh, is that material? No, I don't think so. Uh, the game looks fantastic. It's, it's not even, and I, I think I said this during my seven playthrough, my remake playthrough. Um, what building is this? Oh, what's up here? What's over here? Oh my God. Music? You worked out with everyone? Just for a bit. Could you keep up? Cute! Can we not work out more? Uh, anyway, I think I said this when I was playing 7. Is that even though 7 looks good or remake seven, looks good, you just it's know so it's gonna look so like inferior to rebirth and it comes out. Uh, and I'm really, really feeling that. It's kind of wild. Because the game's not even that old. Weak legs betray weak mind. <laughs> Takes me back. Yeah, it's a great tip. Yeah, so hey, Thunder Beacon, how's it going? Thank you so much. Are you? Are the first few hours good so far? I've not played for very long. I've played. I want to say. Oh, 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 oh. I want to say maybe 40 minutes of the game. At most, I don't think this is the hotel. Then I stop by my mom's. Not that it matters. Sure it does. I know I want to hear what happened. Me too. Yeah. Go on. Uh. Fine. My dad died when I was a kid, so after I left for Midgar, she was on her own. It was the first time we'd seen each other in two years. Damn. First time, then last. Damn. I'll be right there. <sighs> they do look so alike. Cloud, is that you? Hey. Welcome home. Her name really is Come Claudia. In. Let me get a good look at you. That's something I kind of like about that. Cloud and my, Claudia. My. So that's what they've got you wearing, huh? You soldiers sure do clean up nice. I've never been so proud. The man you've become. Women must be hounding you day and night. Not really. You know, there's all kinds of temptations in the big city. I'd feel a lot better if I knew you'd found a good girl. One who'd make sure you didn't get into trouble. I can take care of myself. An older, more mature girl. I could keep you on the straight and narrow. And tell you when you're being a silly goose. That's the perfect type for you, I'd say. Cute! They are feeding you properly, aren't they? Oh, Cloud! But you know, Cloud. Wouldn't you agree, Cloud? You're my son. Of course, I'll always be. Okay, that's enough. <sighs> Rest at the inn once you're done exploring. Interesting. So maybe they had hoped for you to hit this house first. And then you'd get the warning. Although that kind of seems mildly surprising because the route has you 
I think walk past the inn first. So in my mind, I'm like, okay, yeah, that's the first building I'm gonna walk into. Yeah, it doesn't know how popular it is. I will say one thing that I'm now clocking more. It just leaves questions, I'm not saying that we want them answered. In fact, please don't. But what, what we used to call his migraines, it now looks like they're meant to be a bit more like, hey bro, let me get oh my look at God, that television static, I think. It's the vibe, that's the vibe I get. I don't show how positive, like how, how positively correct I am or not. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, lovely person for that. Okay, let's carry on in here. Not the hotel. I, I think it would warn me. <gasps> oh no, but Aerith doesn't live here. That is the flower. Huh? You went to my place? It's Tifa's place. Yes, I did. I figured you might be there. Wait a second. You two were neighbors? We were, but it's not like we hung out that much. Tifa, I'm in we love with you. We had our reasons. <laughs> Our reasons, huh? <laughs> Bet most of them had to do with you. That's right. Cloud had a TV turner in his head. Very smart. Not like that. I'm not explaining it well. But the point being, it's much closer mimicking television static than it is just the migraines. I feel like before it was just kind of like grainy and obviously he's like grasping his head and what have you. But this, this is more closely mimicking television static. Come on. You know what I mean. I'm not saying Cloud's Remember got cat? an aerial studio out his head. Fluffy, I think. Yeah. She was always disappearing. And that day was no different. Okay. That day was no different. This is such an interesting way to do it. To have us like walk through in real time. But have like real like, present day commentary on it as well. Seems quite interesting. By the way, you're planning on turning on the text-to-speech option for the chips we earn. That'd be so much fun. If I could believe people to be responsible with it, I would. I used to have them on. Um, and some people would just get very naughty. One. Uh, and then two. New chests. Whoa. Um, because I play... Oh, nice. Because I play predominantly story-driven games, sometimes I feel like the text-to-speech goes off at inappropriate times. I post all this stuff to YouTube as well, and I don't know. But I want to do something fun. Like, I would love to make things more interactive. But I don't know how. You went into my room? I did. Did you hear how guilty he sounded when he said I did like that? Chat thought going to the inn first would skip stuff. Oh, but the game won't trigger the next scene in the inn until you did it. Ah, that's smart. Okay, well, I'm actually glad they did it that way. Hey, Dill, welcome in. I did play the Yuffie DLC. That is- You went through my stuff? Oh. Ooh. I know I shouldn't have. I feel bad. I feel really bad for that. Cloud. I... You asshole. Tifa and Aerith going, you asshole. It was wrong. It was wrong. But then also, okay, hang on. Mentally file this away. And maybe we already knew this and I just forgot. But we are going through this. Aerith is with us right now. Whereas before in either a concurrent timeline or something, she was with Zack. I don't know, we have questions. Uh, inspect pianos you encounter start tickling the ivories and perform pieces using sheet music you've acquired. Cute. Did you actually play it? Yes, I did. I went to town on it. I tickled them ivories, something fierce. Yeah, co it's so good. Yeah, the Clouds VA is so good. Thank you, user. Oh my god. <laughs> No, hang on. To unlock a piece of uh, its Java chip lore, I did actually used to play the piano. However, comma, um, it didn't look like this when I played it. I had my fingers on actual keys. I, I don't know how to, what do you want me to play?
I think it's about as good as we're going to get, guys. Approved. Approved. <laughs> get me the hell up. We're done. Yes. And my performance. <laughs> Thank you for the follows, lovelies. <laughs> yeah, 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 it's a busy game. It's very dead. This is an oasis. Today is going to be the day that wow. we're going to throw it back Where to you. Where do you have to do that? Hey, you got to play for us sometime. Well, shit. You're a Merkel Minitalis. Tozy life fame. For anyone that does, that is such a deep cut that CM referenced. <gasps> the Moogle plushie. The Moogle plushie. And the, the, the makeup on the vanity. Okay, but now here's the thing. As suspected, Cloud was looking into Tifa's room. As suspected. Uh, true, uh, truly welcome in. She cooked. True link, welcome in, rather. Thank you very much. See, this is the energy we need. Thank you, the bloody lot of yous. <laughs> Sing Wonderwall. By now, you should have somehow, yeah, realize what you're gonna do. I don't believe that anybody feels the way I do about you now. Now, read her diary. I bet she approved. Does she have a diary in here? Let me sprint. Sorry, sorry. Let me invade your privacy even more. Sorry. Let me just double check. No, not oh, the cowboy hat. What do you? What magazine are you reading? It's written in Japanese characters. I can't read. Damn it. No, no diary available. Feels bad, man. Or if it is, it's she's hidden it somewhere fierce. Asking the magic eight ball. Does anybody feel the way she does? Does anybody? feel the way she does about them now or something like that uh my reply is no <laughs> feels very bad okay i think we explore the whole house yes i think we're good let's exit i'm so sorry tifa i love you i'm in love with you oh my god thank you thank you very much for the um dollar donation thank you thank you i want to grow my hair Ooh, the church is open now. I'm so compulsive with saving, guys. I don't know what's wrong with me. Yeah. Lucy, have a fantastic night's sleep. Thank you so much. The British woman is singing Oasis. What a cliche. I love Oasis. I think Don't Look Back in Anger is my Make favorite. Sure What are you gonna do next? Have a smell a shirt or something? Respectfully. Oh, I'll be telling everyone how I welcome the great Sephiroth off to town till the day I die. It is nice to see. We hear a lot about how revered Sephiroth is. Sephiroth's here. Those beasts are toast. And it is nice to hear and see that play out, um, even if it is a little over the top. But I guess that kind of like we have to make sure that everyone knows, even if you only interact with a couple of, of uh, the townspeople. That, yeah. You did a manual save until I was done after playing four hours. I don't know what it is. I just have this horrible, well, you know what it is? Two things. First of all, I always have this like horrible gut feeling that my game is gonna like crash or something. Okay, so I'm like, all right, as long as I save a bunch, then I'll be fine. I don't know where else to explore. I feel like we've... Let me... I'm going to just try and sprint around really quickly. Just see if there are any other dots that I've not noticed. But I think we've gotten everything. Yeah. Um, but then also, if I ever do something in the wrong order. Like, let's just say I entered the hotel and I shouldn't have or whatever. I can then just really quickly reload a previous save file. That's kind of also why I do it as well. Hey, Revolver, how's it going? Lovely. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Sorry, I know this is potentially nauseating. Zooming. I'm just trying to make sure we've explored everything. Shout out. Oh, Stekas, you're lovely. Thank you for shouting out the mods, whom I adore wildly. I'm good. How are you? I'm good. I cannot describe how nervous I was to stream today. Uh... 
doing the cosplay and everything and it's the first streaming a, a new game on first days for me is always a little nerve-wracking yeah i think this is everything i think we've explored everything so we're gonna go back to the hotel because we can't go that way oh sorry we're stuck anytime we walk past here we do a bit of a workout but it's been great i feel like you had 10 saves i feel like you had 10 saves four hours in thank you games crash condom breaks life goes on very much same 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 yeah same right, same same, same. job what's your That's opinion on the new map i personally think the satellite image is a lot nicer than what the remake was doing especially when buildings i think it's like heads and shoulders this like mini map up here i just what i would like to have <laughs> they're talking about sephiroth not me what i wish i could have is like a compass up at the top as well uh because i find that to be really helpful but this is stunning very very beautiful damn yeah uh what's the quick save number count up to now almost three thousand, i think Okay, let's talk here. Welcome back. Sephiroth's already gone upstairs. Lovely. I think I did try L2. L2's not working. R2's not working. That's L1. R1 isn't doing anything. So maybe you unlock it in a little bit. I'm not really sure. Notice at the time, but looking back, all the signs were there. From the moment we arrived, Sephiroth just wasn't himself. Oh. Okay. Why not? What you looking at? this landscape huh I could swear I've seen it before you okay big day tomorrow we'll be leaving bright and early you should get some rest all right we'll do Okay, interesting stuff. Then it's in the settings. Okay, Dayama, thank you. I tried, but I couldn't get to sleep that night. Was too excited, too nervous. It was pretty much the same for me. Why? <laughs> yeah, I was surprised too. Years ago, Brian. She's old enough to make her own decisions now. <laughs> Hi, Zay. Welcome in. Thank you for the follows, guys. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> we leave once our guide arrives. Yes, sir. Uh, Brian! Sephiroth, sir. <sighs> I must insist that I take you up the mountain. He's My so cool. Tifa. You can still back out. You don't have to do this. I'm going, and that's that. There'll be two soldiers with me. I'll be fine. Pumpkin. Good morning, sir. I'll be your guide for the day. Tifa? You're our guide? I love her. I sure am. You can ask anyone around here. I'm the best there is. You could get hurt. Not if you remember to do your job, she won't. Come on. Okay. What great music as well. For a posterity, sir? Not today. Damn. Did you talk to him? Please, Sephiroth. It mean a lot to us. It's just one photo. Come on. Where's the harm in that? Okay, he's always had the cat there cat eyes it seems thanks say cheese sounds like you were having a good time one more yeah i guess we were Later. for a while cuties so cute yeah tifa let's guess java's next cosplay was halfway up mount evil 
I was looking forward to breathing that crisp, clean mountain air again. Okay, interesting stuff. Tifa is our guide. I love this little, like, cowgirl Tifa look. So cute. So cute. Uh, Seth jumps towers over her. I know, bless. She's so tiny, isn't she? Everything's going to be a-okay. Yeah, I, I was not expecting Tifa to come out, in, like, dressed like a cowgirl. To be fair, I was like, oh, they'll all be wearing similar outfits because Cloud's in a similar outfit. But Cloud's not in an outfit. Cloud's in a uniform. So I could have probably tried to pitch to like connect two and two together and guess that she would have been in a different outfit but i wasn't expecting it yeah so cute they added the black undershirt i was part of the outfit in rebirth okay interesting would you do that tifa cosplay i don't know i don't know but we do need to think of a new sub goal so yeah no don't say that icons sprinting hold r2 or press l3 to sprint until you stop moving whilst running you automatically perform terrain actions okay are uh, using your weapons press uh square to use your weapon attack for example if you find boxes marked with the shinra logo try breaking them open they may contain useful items including marco shards that restore mp note that you cannot attack in certain locations would i prefer Will, I don't think it will let me go that way. <laughs> Seems a little overkill, but I like it. Good stuff. You should get Pussy to play. Yeah, yeah, she kind of looks like her. We do wombo combo. Thank you guys for the follows, by the way. Welcome in. This, but our reactor's the first of its kind. It really put Mount Nebel on the map. I've seen a few reactors in my time. Credits. But none is such a breathtaking view. Let's do some terrain things. No. Everyone, eventually. Man, I wish I could go on trips all over the world like you guys. Oh, interesting. I actually wasn't expecting it to let me do that. I thought we were going to be much more on rail, so that's quite fun that that's happening. Don't call him Clive. You business trips, which are no fun at all. Though you do learn stuff on them. That's so cool. What a great way to have the opening credits. If you start calling him Clive, then I'm going to call him Clive, and then people are going to flame me. Please. Yeah. Oh, hey, credit. Hey, Ray, have a good time. Thank you. I will also say, once again, a massive thank you to all of you that are here. I'm so thrilled that there are as many of you here as there are. Thank you all so much for the follows. Um, and just know that Everything okay? I... Not going too fast for you, am I? Mm. Of course not. We're just trying to pace ourselves, is all. Exactly. But I thought you guys were in a hurry. Even so, you'll burn yourself out running like that. Can I not jump? I'm not even close to burned out. Not with all the training I've had. But why it's not letting me run here? Yes, you really are the best there is. Um, I do not talk during cutscenes. So, if you are chatting, whatever, and it's during a cutscene, just know I'm not ignoring you in like a nasty way. I'm, I'm just focusing. Yeah. No, Adam, stop that right now. Yeah, the flashback in 7 Remake, she didn't have the black shirt. Oh, there was a flashback in 7 Remake. Oh, then I would have seen her in this outfit. I'm just not remembering. Hmm. So pretty. But kind of desolate. Maybe, I mean, I guess it, that's the kind of the point of it, right? Is that it's meant to be not much there, desolate, rah, rah, rah. And that's why they would have had the confidence to build the reactor out here, you'd think. None of, ga don't say Garrett. For anyone that doesn't know, I kept on calling Barrett Garrett. <clears throat> Seen those near the village and they're not nice. What do you think? I think I got this. Then they're all yours. Copy that. Okay, let's not embarrass ourselves. Fighting as Cloud. Press a triangle, press square to attack with Cloud's sword. Holding the button will allow you to follow up with a sweeping slash. Press the button after dodging to launch a ranged attack. Or hold the button to unleash an aerial combo. Press the button after dodging to launch a ranged attack. Or hold the button to unleash an aerial combo. Okay. 
Interesting. It's on now. Oh, and we still have Punisher mode. Let's finish this. Let's get out of Punisher mode. Alright. While well, you staggered. We didn't dodge yet, but we will. That was awesome. You think? Professional. If this is how it's going to be, there doesn't seem much point in me fighting. I guess not. You leave it all to That's me. That's not huh? true. Don't mind if I do. Okay, good stuff. I'm obviously just now learning the combat of things. Um, but I guess question... Ooh, initiating combat. Enemies will grow alerted to your presence as you approach. Once the gauge, once the gauge fills up, combat will ensue. Press square before it fills to get the jump on your foes or retreat to avoid fighting. If you land the first strike, your ATV gauge will fill slightly at the start of battle. You can also run away after the battle has begun by pushing some distance from you and enemies. Very cool. Um, interesting. Using ATV commands, press X to open a command menu. From there, you can expend ATV charges to activate abilities, cast spells, use items. The ATV gauge will gradually fill as time passes, as well as whenever you attack foes with square. Ability, braver. Uh, I was going to ask, do you know? Whoa, that's awesome. That's the dodge aerial. Piece of cake. Wah. Wah. One, I'm loving combat. Two, do people find the combat to be more closely related to 16? Because to me, this is... This feels much more like 16. Yeah, remake crawl to rebirth could sprint totally. And even after playing the DLC, the re... Make combat seem worse. Yes, Tifa! <laughs> Come on, soldier. You can do better than that, can't you? Just Aerial combat? Okay. Press R1 to lock... Oh, to block incoming attacks. Or press circle to move out of harm's way. Successfully blocking an attack will reduce the amount of damage taken for your ATV gauge. Block with perfect timing to render the attack ineffective. Okay. That's my dog. Welcome in. Thank you guys so much for the follows, by the way. Welcome in, lovely followers. I'm thrilled that you're here. Combat isn't like 16, but it's so much improved. To me, it feels... There's something that feels similar to 16, and I don't know why. But it does. And I think I might be in the minority. Oh, sorry, I did L1. Okay, let's try and get this perfect timing. Steady. Not perfect timing. So cool. Uh, can we do braver when it's up like this? Nope. Well, you could if I timed it. You're done. So great. Try this. Well, that's that. Okay, kind of. I did that kind of lame, but do I need? No, I'm good. Tifa's over there. Am I good to walk over this? Yes, that's fine. Shannon loves recruiting and indoctrinating youth. Yeah, why is that, huh? Start them young. Feels very weird, man. Press R3 to lock on specific enemy. Use R to switch targets. Press R3 to disengage. All yours. You know what to do, pal. Let's finish this. Oh, uh, you know, I wonder. They've not taught yet about Punisher mode. But 
I do wonder if the Punisher mode has the same. No, it's only melee attacks. Oh no, what is junk? No. does seem to pivot around. I'm not yet like up in the air like how I would like. To oh, that's nice. How I would like to be. I'll end I don't. So I don't think. Yeah, triangles punish him. Great combo to do the dodging. <gasps> Limit. This is here. Beautiful. We still have a long way to go. Lovely. A McBain will come in. Shall we pick up the pace? Not unless we absolutely have to. Our guide might not be so lucky next time. Then, how about I go on ahead and clear the way for you guys? I'll be careful. You'd better. Cool. See ya at the reactor. Equipping materia. Materia can be set into the most weapons and equipment via the materia and equipment section of the main menu. Try equipping materia. Cloud was provided for the mission. Great. Good stuff. Welcome in, lovelies. Thank you, Mishra. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, McBain. Review the materia tutorial. No, I think we're okay. Improving material, material set into your equipment will gain ability points with every battle. Once enough AP is accrued, your material will improve, further enhancing its effects and the potency of its spells. For example, take the fire material, allows you to cast fire, then fire, then fire agra. Cool. Uh, material and equipment. They've done, I feel like, a good job with the UI where it feels better, but still very much like how it was in remake so that you're not feeling like so overwhelmed like it being wildly different and all that stuff and thank you guys for the follows welcome in lovely people assess cool okay i have nothing else yeah 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 great stuff yeah i got into it because of oh, red versus blue monty's like oh, I don't know. cloud does love squats well, you guys, thank you so much for the hydrate. Yeah, you have one of the best soldiers ever with you, but by all means, yeah, you go ahead and clear it all out by yourself, babes. I, it's nice seeing this version of Cloud who is young and spry and keen to, you know, show off and learn and... Switching modes with Cloud. Press triangle to activate Cloud's unique ability. Cloud, for example, can switch modes between fighting uh, so whilst fighting, alternation between the balance, operator mode, and defense orientated punisher mode. In punisher mode, Cloud moves more slowly, but uh, Square can unleash a more powerful attack than usual. In addition, Cloud launches a counter blow every time he guards against an enemy's melee attack. He cannot, however, guard against ranged attack or magic. When you evade such attacks, you will switch back to operator mode. It's on now. <laughs> Oh, I should really assess these. Now. It's on now. Dude, the You're combat done. just feels way better. 
Oh, let, well, we have to limit. Hang on, hang on. Let, let's calm down. Let's assess it quickly. Weakness to um, ice. Launching them up into the air, exploiting the elemental weakness of magic attacks. We'll pressure them, but it's okay because we have our limit break. Here goes. Piece of cake. Piece of cake. Fantastic. Cloud never misses leg day. No, no. How could he? But he'll learn. Uh, he'll work out those arms soon enough. Um, appreciate the cosplay, but I don't think this ga game here. I don't think this game here is possible to achieve in real world. Real world. What do you mean? I Scarlet's Scarlet's hair, I think, is the only hair that's achievable in the real world, and it's frankly, I think, the only part of the cosplay that I got. Like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the, uh, even though I didn't do a French twist. I don't know how to do a French twist. Don't anyone come for me. That's why I'm not showing you guys the back of my head. <laughs> Hey, thank you for the bit here, Adam. Four stars is specifically good at increasing stagger gauge. So consider using it whilst enemies are not staggered. It doesn't do so much when they are actively staggered. Thank you, thank you, Adam, for the very helpful tip. I appreciate that. Hey, Gaspar, welcome in. I can't reach you. I, there has to be a trick that I'm missing. Oh no, I didn't heal. That's such a rookie move. Oh no, I can, hang on, can we dodge? Ah, you have to hold it to stay in the air. Interesting. I don't know, how, oops, I don't know how much I like that. That's not what I meant. Oh, shit. Interesting. I, I, I. Oh, okay, good. Okay, amazing. Uh, braver. I'm so bad at doing the blocking stuff. I need to improve that massively. Especially on the dynamic difficulty. But dynamic difficulty makes me think that, like, it'll even scale. That one felt pretty good. Tiny things that don't really impact, uh, sorry, impact uh, the game that I like so far. Items like potions that have an actual model. They flash on the screen when you pick them up. I did notice that. I like that they use character portraits to show who is using what material. Oh, instead of their name. I don't think I've noticed that. Ivan, hey, how's it going, lovely? Thank you, thank you guys so much. This was a, um, this Scarlet cosplay was a uh, sub goal. It, or it was a reward for hitting the um, 300 points. We are over 350 now. I don't know how much over 350 we are. We started at 353 at the beginning of the stream. So it's a great time to... Oh, yeah, they do have a model. You can't see it. I think it's hidden by my camera. Um, it's a great time to say, again, thank you all so much, those of you that choose to sub. What? I'm so upset. Surely this is something I could crawl through, please. Those of you that choose to sub tier one, two, and three to the channel, thank you so much. But also, I'm so appreciative of all of you that use your prime subs, like gift subs, and just all of you that are here lurking, whether you're a sub or not a sub. I'm very, very, very thankful. And for the lovely people on YouTube who are watching this when this goes live on YouTube, I'm also thrilled that you're here. And thank you for spending your time with me. Java takes no prisoners. Well, I got to do a hell of a lot better than this if we're going to be taking no prisoners. Just like Scarlet Mummy would have wanted. Interesting. I, I think I like it. The, it, and we, this is not surprising. I did not expect hey, it. Not that way. I didn't expect it to be this way, but the free climbing isn't an actual like climb. There's a kind of snap to it. Do you play on performance? We are playing on graphic mode right now. It's a dead end. Rockslide took out the bridge a while ago. Come on back. Yeah, okay? I assume there's a party in the back okay. of my hair. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, this looks just like Barrett's. Yeah. So there's hair possible. See? 
there you go. I love Barrett. Barrett's easily one of my favorite characters. Oh! I'm so smart. Approach locations marked with that to perform content sensitive actions such as squeezing through tight spaces or climbing up ladders. I knew it. Come on, this screamed. You can crawl through here. And something's gonna try and chomp my arm on the other end, huh? Hey, Phantom, how's it going? If the sword don't fit, quit. Stop. Java giving a Scarlet death glare when Tifa tells her to turn around. I taught Scarlet and I are more alike than perhaps I want to admit. Phantom, this how's way. it going? Lovely, how are you? Gotta make a detour through a Shinra facility. Good think I almost made you our guide. Good thing I reconsidered. Why? Otherwise, you'd have led us straight off a cliff. Hang on a minute. You didn't give yes. me a chance. How was I supposed to know the bridge was out? Tifa had inside information. It's not fair. Does Scarlet love toxic men? Scarlet doesn't have time for no man. Scarlet, Scarlet's too busy being heinous to worry about being attracted to toxic men. Like I am, clearly. You might try free targeting for a bit. It's apparently well improved over remakes. Okay. I might give that a crack. Wait, did I check out? Hang on, hang on. Oh, interesting. Sorry, I saw the little outcropping on the mini map and I was like, did I check that out? And the 30 FPS doesn't bother you. I don't know, it may do. I I we can let's try on performance mode. Um options i mean the game is stunning i have to say the game is absolutely breathtaking let's see this might actually play so much smoother i might regress it thanks for the follows guys welcome in lovely followers job of being bullied and making you see my skull is being bullied <laughs> whoa wow this feels so different but I feel like the quality is much more degraded. I don't know. I mean, it'll be interesting to hear how different it looks for you guys, but the quality seems worse. Set materia. What did we just get? Oh, the level boost. Increase the level of link materia by one. So let's move that there. Put level boost there. What is this? Ice? I think I might want to swap that with Cure. I don't know, that might be a mistake, but I feel like it's gonna be so much more helpful. Yeah, we would wait for two years Sephiroth. Yeah, please, please. Hey, Stegas, as long as one keeps within the 30 frames, you get used to it. Yeah, switching to 60 and 30 will screw it up. Totally sub. Hey, so how's it going, lovely? Wait until outside. You had performance mode isn't working 100%. If to get, yeah, 60, I, I think I might go graphics. I, I don't know why. I think one swapping between the frame rates is gonna suck. Um, no, not, not camera graphics. I don't know. I mean, 30 frames certainly isn't my ideal, but it does look well, hang on. Let's go outside. Sorry, I know this is a this is a testing and learning section. Uh, yeah, system. Oh no. Yeah, system. Options. Graphics. I mean, damn. Kind of trippy. I don't know. What do you guys think? If you're okay with the yeah, yeah, graphics are clearer. It gives you a headache. Yeah, Th 50 looks, 30 frames look fine. Honestly, am I streaming at 60 frames? I think I am. I should be. Does it look like 60 frames for you guys? Graphics both look great. It honestly looks awful in mo in motion in performance. It is weird. I I think we're just gonna stick with uh with um perf um, graphics mode. 
It is a shame though that it does seem like such a wide divide. Whereas like ordinarily, I don't think it feels so different. I've got 21 mega potions. Nice. Hey, Chrissy, how's it going by the way? It just depends on if you prefer, yeah, super smooth. Yeah, or the graphics, I guess. I'm not struggling massively with the combat at the 30 frames. Dude, it's tough though. There was part of it where I was like, ooh, this doesn't look great. Um, oh, all right. I really don't know. I'm kind of torn to be honest. Graphics for chapter one, performance for later chapters. You did it this way, that's a great idea, Vesper. Performance mode seems to model the details of the graphics. Yeah, it looks less sharp. Yeah, this game looks great on performance for you too. You enjoy the 60 frames. How's it going, Reap? All I know is streamers that got early copies were told to play it in graphics mode. I like that. When you pop out of uh, the elevator, there's something in silhouette waiting for you. And this music, the music is so great. I don't think I mentioned this early on in this playthrough, but it is something that I certainly mentioned during my Final Fantasy Remake playthrough. I'll say it in a second. adjacent game that I played. I have played Kingdom Hearts 1 and like three fourths of Kingdom Hearts 2. So I was familiar with well, some of the Kingdom Hearts characters from that. that. But also this music reminds me of something from Kingdom Hearts. I know it plays in the Final Fantasy 7 remake, but I can't get it out of my head. I don't know. How do I? Oh, can I hop this? I can. Interesting. I like that. I like that a lot. Thank you for the follows, lovely people. Performance looks a bit nicer in later chapters. Okay, cool. Such a drastic low resolution. That's what it looks like to me. Is that the resolution looks worse? I wonder. Do you think that's something that they would resolve some with a patch? I don't know if you can really patch that. That seems like a bigger. But there are still pockets of Mako gas all over the mountain. Try not to breathe it in if you can. Don't want to get Mako. So pretty. I mean, terrible, obviously. Elevator access restricted due to Mako gas concentrations. Air purification unit must be employed to clear excess Mako gas. Okay, good stuff. Uh, to be honest, what bothers me in performance is not the softness. Are surrounding but on cloud yeah cloud space you mean right oh hang on what is th what am i moving what is this event okay uh okay use a purify connected to this marco processing unit ah so you need to connect this back here I don't know guys, I don't work in a, a Marco reactor processing unit plant, do I? Don't need to patch if you have two distinct modes, but it's like sub Oh shit. No, never mind, never mind, never mind. <laughs> uh I can't drag it over there. Oh, it's already connected. It's already connected. I guess. I just got to pull it around to the main area. How taut can the cable go? Auto gas levels reduced by 20%. What an interesting idea. Auto gas levels reduced by 70%. Okay. Curious. 
Even though some of this has to do with post-processing is internal resolution performance isn't that low, so it could be tweaked, but I wouldn't put all my hopes on something like that. Fair. How fascinating. Okay. I like that little baby puzzle. In the job cinematic universe, things are pretty things that are pretty are usually terrible. Southern Ridge Summit approach. That's my girlfriend. Be careful with her. Don't worry. I I adore Tifa. I will fight you over lovely Tifa Tifa waifu babe. It's a Hoover. I didn't know it was a Hoover chat. I didn't know it was a Hoover. How was I supposed to know? Hello. Lovely doubly. <laughs> Okay, good start. <laughs> How's it going? Yeah. Isn't Marco Gas what fucked up Jesse's dad? Isn't Marco Gas what's fucked up everyone? Isn't it the source of all things essentially terrible in this universe? I would believe. Deary me. That's a big reactor. Come on. Okay, at the end of Final Fantasy VII Remake, it rains and they hold their hand out to interact with the rain. And there was a part of me that was like, is this their first time experiencing rain? Because maybe they've been underneath the shelter of the plate, you know? Just thinking about crossing that thing. Then let me go first. Hey, I'm the guide here. God bless her. Um, but obviously they've interacted with the rain before, but it seems poignant for a reason that I'm not yet sure. Yeah. Might have been Aerith's first time. I don't exist in this universe. That's GG's for me. What are you? It was Eris' first time for sure. That's right. Okay, well, at least I remember that correctly. Or that, like, I read into that correctly. He's in fate's hands now. Yeah. Do you know the way? <laughs> yeah. Following the river should get us back to the village. We're not going to the village. Can you get us to the reactor? Sorry, I... I don't think I can. I see. Well, Tifa, we I certainly can't send you back alone. You'll be safer with us. Okay. I'll be joining you up front this time. What? 
for your performance review. You kidding me? Good luck. Sephiroth joined the party. I mean, geez. I... It needs to be absolutely said, punctuated, communicated. I was so sure that we were going to boot up Final Fantasy Rebirth and we were going to enter into the city of Calm. Enter in the city of Calm and we would go and explore Calm. Never in a million years did I think, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So what we're going to do is actually have a flashback and go and explore and do all this with Sephiroth in the party. Incredible. And this is our first time since the update to have someone in our party. So I am very excited. Climbing! Approach a scalable wall or rock face to begin your ascent. Then use the L button, L toggle, L... Why can't L stick? Why don't I know what that... I'm blanking. Uh, to leap from one hole to the next. Note that you can also climb down surfaces like that. Thank you. Uh, thank you for the hydrate. We will hydrate quickly. We'll let Sephiroth get a little head start, you know. Hey, AJ, thank you for the like. Hi, lovely. How's it going? Uh, the demo started with Cloud Sephiroth flashback. It didn't include the Zack stuff. That's great to know. Okay. Because those are big. My favorite. No, let me set the bed. Taking a breather. Sitting at a rest stop or sleeping at lodgings will restore both MP and HP. Um, that's a good reveal. And I have so many questions that I do not want answered. But I have so many questions still about what the hell is happening. Um... I, I was I could have swore I was like oh that has to be in the past but it looks like something concurrently but I it would be concurrently because of alternate timelines I don't know Sephiroth is so hot I hate it oh interesting whoa revival healing wind magnify fire magnify for lightning Mom, Sephiroth is hoarding all of the magnify materia and I just know I won't be able to keep it. A Masa Masamune, I think is the name of his blade. Interesting. Oh, you can't even select it. Sephiroth's equipment cannot be changed at present. Imagine, I just take the sword. All mine now. Chow, you're being mean. Java out here trying to solve climate change with an endless supply of gaslight for all of us. You're so foul. Yeah, right. The lot of yous. Who, who needs enemies when you've got chat like this, huh? I mean, honestly. HP up material, great. And I can't change any of my equipment. No. Which is fine. Fine, but seems kind of a bit strange that you can't change... Uh, switching characters okay so you do toggle between the characters still i was of the mindset that we were going to only control the one character like we did in the uh dlc which is also why i thought that this combat's a bit more similar to final fantasy 16's where you're only ever controlling one protagonist but that is not the case uh switching to a different cat or at least i don't think that's the case Switching to a different character can provide an advantage in battle. Alternatively, you can order allies to attack while you're controlling the same character. Use that or to issue commands. Note that you can also switch characters whilst guarding. Now, fighting a Sephiroth. Press that to unleash. Press square to unleash. Sorry. Press square to slash with Masamune or hold to unleash a ranged attack. Landing a certain number of attacks will allow you to form a branching finishes like Pierce or Sword Dance with Triangle, filling your limit gauge. Press R1 to enter retaliation stance. Whilst in this stance, press square at the right time to parry an incoming attack. <laughs> I mean, good lord. I don't ever want to- why would I want to fight as Cloud when I can just fight as Sephiroth? Don't be crazy. Zanshin, launch rending waves of energy at an enemy causing- like, okay, yeah? No, that was poorly timed. Sorry, Cloud. Hell's Gate? Descend from the skies and impale an enemy. Hell yeah. Crazy, dude. Crazy. Uh, that was a common thing to do in older Final Fantasy games. Take the gear from NPCs that join. 
At least I'm thinking with the right uh, headspace, right? Spotted giraffes. <laughs> Welcome in. I'm not quite Aerith. I'm I'm Scarlet today. I don't know if I could pull off Aerith. No, maybe. Maybe. I don't know. I'm trying my best as Scarlet. How's it going, lovely? Sephiroth is the current party leader, meaning you will control him at the start of combat. To change your party leader, go to the combat settings section on the main menu, then select a character and press triangle to designate them as the new leader. Hey, Shieldia, yeah, thank you so much. How's it going, lovely? How is your day or night? Should we sit at the bench again? We might as well. Game said no, please don't sit at the bench again. Krennic pronouncing of Masamune, that feels good. I, I messed up Curie horrendously, so we couldn't do that twice. Yeah, it's a flashback, true. In my defense, I made it very clear I'm the resident heel antagonist, General Thorn in the side. You play the role absolutely flawlessly. 15 out of 10. No notes. I've saved already three times in chapter one. Good lord. Fun fact, this is a flashback in OG. Yeah, Cloud is level one. Sephiroth is 50. He felt like a damn cheat code. That is interesting to know, though, that even in the OG game, um... More Mako gas ahead. There's no way around it either. Just have to go through. Uh... Sorry, it is interesting to know... Poor thing. Coughing like that. Hold, hold ah. that. No, and then let's go... Ah. Sorry. It's doing that terribly. Uh, it's a flashback in both games. That's what I find interesting. Sorry. This is so pretty. Jesus. Uh, that's... Yeah, beware the gas. Oh, this is where we came in from. So let's go check this side first. So go... Like here? Up here, I think. Use triangle right after Sephiroth's abilities does cool things. Using triangle right after his abilities does cool things. Okay. Abilities, then triangle. I know I'm not going to be able to keep any of this stuff. It just makes me bummed. What's the point, Mom? Empowerment material. Oh, no. Hang on. Maybe let's go, let's go check out what it is. Materia Empowerment Allows you to use physical and magical attack strengthening spells Pairing with warding materia Grants resistance to physical and magic attack reduction Okay, and we don't have warding materia yet Okay, interesting, interesting Hey, drooling and twitching, thank you so much How's it going, lovely? How are you? It would be very cool to compare with OG after the playthrough I don't... Okay, I agree. I do agree that that would be interesting, but I don't know. Well, first of all, there's so much going on. Um, I don't even know when I would have time to slot in a playthrough of OG, but there's part of me that makes me nervous to play OG because I, I never played it, and I don't know if I would warm as much to the game. Like, I don't have the nostalgia, like, feeling with it. And so I'm worried that, like, I'll miss a whole bunch of the quality of life updates. And then I won't enjoy the much as game, uh, the game as much as, like, people that played it originally. That's what I would be scared of. A Mako Spring. It's beautiful. <sighs> yeah, but if we keep using Mako to power our homes, Springs like this will disappear, right? Yeah. What are you talking about? Who told you that? My dad. And the mayor, if you must know. Smart cookies. Except the planet's huge. Mako will never run out, right? Naturally formed materia. And look at the size of it. Astounding. I mean, it is massive. For the Mako energy to condense into something like this. It must have taken an eternity. I've always wondered, how does Materia let you cast spells exactly? <laughs> how did you ever get to be a soldier? Mm. To put it simply, the knowledge of the ancients is sealed within each orb. 
That knowledge not only connects us to the planet, it allows us to tap into her power. That's how we can use magic. Or so they say. Really? Magic sure is weird. <laughs> Bless him. <laughs> yes, give us an evil laugh. I know someone who'd be livid to hear you call it weird. Or magic, for that matter. I can just imagine what he'd say. It's an affront to science. Who? Not Hojo. Hojo, from Research and Development. His predecessor was a great man, but him. He's he is anything but nasty. We should press on. Okay. That is an interesting comment, though. He said his Hojo's father was a great man, but he is anything but. Which I would have to believe means he thinks very poorly of Hojo. Which is nice to see, because I don't think we... S they were in the building around the same time, but I don't think we saw them interact with one another in any way um, at all. DJ, what a great name, DJ Butt Blaster. Uh, I do not recommend playing OG at this point. That's fair. Yeah, it's tough. It's so tough. I, I, I'm not sure. I would have to... I would say that the odds of me playing OG are probably quite slim. Uh, but never... Slim, but never zero. You just never know. I might do it at some point. Yeah, there we go. Shout out to the mods. Thank you, guys. Hojo's predecessor. Oh, Hojo's predecessor, no, his father. Thank you very much. Sorry. They're just all one and the same in my brain. Welcome in, Zod. Solo, how's it going in? Lovely. Thank you, guys. Thank you. It's not his dad. It's his boss. I mean, same, same. Not really. Thank you, guys, for the follows as well. Welcome in. Uh, we do need to go this way. I also don't typically play games, like, from that era. Oh, interesting. Um, so I think it'd be one thing if I was, I was used to playing, oh, we, we have to go. I was used to playing, well, I don't want to call them retro. I don't know what you would call it. Playing games of the time like that. Uh, and I'm just if it's a fun not at this point. <laughs> now, hang on. What was it? I, hey, 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 hey. Poor Sephiroth. Making Sephiroth seem terrible. Steady. I mean, to be honest, it would be hard to make him look terrible. Jesus, so cool. Jarvis Bridges, she thinks all titles are hereditary. Callie is on a roll today and I'm here for it. Yes. Eat me up. The cosplay looks so good. What the fuck? Thank you so much, Captain G. How's it going? Lovely. It's something a little different. And look, as always, I'm, I'm thrilled that you guys are enjoying it. We've done the cosplay as the um like reward for hitting well it was the goal was to only hit 300 and now we're at 350 something um so i'm glad that you guys are ooh, enjoying it it's my way of saying thank you to you all yeah this is that error it makes me feel oh no stop no stop you know what i mean i i, I just like of that time <laughs> blow the dust off of it no i'm joking i'm joking uh, when an enemy is about to use an attack that cannot be guarded against, the um, alert symbol will appear. Take an evasive action when the mark displays next to an opponent's skill name. Just run away. <laughs> Twin brain. Oh, I mean, how cool does that look? Good look. Oops. Oh, no. Leave him alone. It's not his fault. I made a mistake. And I know I really should be toggling between the two of them. But how could I want to when we get to play as Sephiroth? Because I know I won't always be able to play as him, you know? We're just enjoying the time that we have. New game, everyone. Yeah, take a short time, she says, Jesus. Do I say it a lot? I suppose so. Jesus. Like that. You're surviving. Oh, Capsule G, bless you. I'm sorry. Look how beautiful this is. Beautiful, but wildly threatening. 
Yeah, you were too busy in your late 300s to play video games, obviously. It's true. I am, of course... What am I? 400 and... 424 years old. I think it's my 425th birthday this year. I'm a quad quad octogenarian. You, uh, I know someone said yes, I, uh, but if we're looking to deck out some, oh yeah, 10 would be the next one. I think I saw it was IGN or someone like IGN, GameSpot maybe, had ranked all the Final Fantasies and they might have put 10 first, I think. Heads up. I mean, how fun. How fun. I just want to play Sephiroth forever. Look at it, guys. I mean, jeez. It's all so impressive. To be fair, I love OG7, but it's dated these days. That's my fear. And it's like this thing, I, it's a game that so many people, and look, and I know, I don't need to tell you guys this, but I learned this, obviously playing Final Fantasy VII Remake. It's a game that people are monumentally passionate about. Um, and I'm scared that I would play it. And maybe, I don't know, me playing it wouldn't live up to people's expectations. And I don't want to disappoint people. I don't know. Mario, oh, yeah. thank you so much. Have a fantastic rest of your evening. Thank you. Lovely. Are they ranked six on top? Oh, oh okay. Ten was... Which way do I need to go? That way, yeah. Ten was fifth, I think you said? Blitzball now. I'm glad I don't know what the... Of course, Sephiroth just jumps down. He's so attractive, but problematic. Yeah. A lot of people either have seven... Yeah, and the first, to be honest. I, I was surprised... Ah, oh, we got Magnify. I was surprised that seven wasn't ranked higher. What do I have now? Uh, level boost. So let's remove that. We'll put Magnify in there. Swap that out with ice. No, maybe. Yeah, maybe ice. Okay, we'll do it like that. Um, ten is amazing. It's your favorite. That makes sense. That makes sense. Okay, sorry. Let's carry on. Um, I just want to dive in. Oh, hang on a. Hang on, we have to do the safety save. Imagine, I just send Cloud to his doom. And therein, everything ends. <clears throat> Damn, he does give it the good old college look though. The good old college try rather. Fist ain't here. <clears throat> I, I, swimming or I don't know what even. Cloud's telling the story. Yeah, totally. I got such a tickle in my throat. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, initially, played the demo for 16. Didn't like it. But honestly, the hate it gets is not fair. Yeah, objectively, the demo was good. I just wasn't interested in the story because it felt too medieval European fantasy, which is something I'm tired of. That The European medieval fantasy thing, I think, is so valid. To like, that's that, I could totally see where... People would just go like, uh, this is territory we've trod on before. I'm not that interested. But it's at first when I read your message that you weren't fond of the demo, I was like, how could you say that? Not again. Ooh. Synergy skills. Whilst guarding with R1, you can team up with allies to form a variety of synergy skills. Useful abilities that do not consume ATB charges. The available skills differ depending on which character is being actively controlled. Press that whilst Press this whilst guarding to view descriptions of the skills. Okay, so guard. Interesting. Okay. Uh, dual blade dance. Team up with your partner to unleash up to three consecutive close range physical attacks. All right. Doesn't seem to be doing that much damage. <laughs> Sephiroth, oh my God. We cannot have Sephiroth get in trouble. That would be so embarrassing. I got your back. Steady. 
better. That's not doing like nearly as much damage as I expect it to. Pulling the stagger gauge. Um, inflicting enough damage or exploiting elemental weaknesses will place the enemy in a pressured state, making it easier for you to fill the stagger gauge below its HP bar. Once the gauge is full, the enemy will become momentarily staggered, leaving it defenseless. Use the accessibility on the enemy to discover its vulnerabilities. Also, we do have Sephiroth in chat. Sephiroth says, hey, don't get me knocked out. That is, that is a promise. <laughs> Dang it! Maybe it's not a promise, I take it back. <laughs> I didn't mean that, I didn't mean that. Cloud, you gotta do something. Cloud, you heal me. Yes. <laughs> I mean, how incredible. Ooh! Enemies have staggered or left defenses and take more damage. Striking staggered foes with triangle unique abilities will quickly fill your ATV gauge, allowing you to unleash devastation skills to finish off your opponent. Okay. So when staggered. Limit break. Octoslash. Enough of this. That one felt pretty good. I want Sephiroth to opt to slash me. <laughs> Cosplay is 11 out of 10. Thank you so much. You guys have been so incredibly kind. Incredibly, incredibly kind. Like I said, I was. this was as a nice little like thank you and reward to hitting the partner post goal for the month. Um, and so I'm thrilled that you guys enjoy it because my biggest fear is that I would do it. And again, because I'm not like a cosplayer, so I don't, and I like, excuse me, whatever. And then you guys would be like, hey, you, this sucks. And then I'd be like, I'm sorry, guys, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm trying to do something, guys. Yeah. Haha, <laughs> I'll give you a pass since your dress is my milk crush. Thank you, Sephiroth. Hey. Funny thing is, when I went to Square Enix, uh, wait. Oh, can I go this way? Yes, but is there anything here? Yes, there is. Great. Uh huh? Here we go. Kaxa, so thank you for like a high lovely. Are they weren't pushing 16 much marketing or all they seem to lose faith in 16? Order precision defense. Do you feel like they feel that way about the game now? I'm not saying you're wrong at all. I'm just, I'm like genuinely curious. Healing fire and ice. These are so helpful. The precision dodge would be great though. Can I actually, can I level up my equipment? I've not tried it. No. Uh, no, not that, sorry. Uh, inventory? Bungled that. Uh, extend input timing window for precision defense. That could be great, but I'm not yet doing the defense enough, I think. I would try out Cloud Synergy skills. They have more source, to be honest. Okay. I was surprised by, by how little damage we were doing. Hey, Twisted! I'm always in love with Sephiroth. Are you crazy? How could, how could I not be? <laughs> but what I want more than anything is the... Give me the, the music. I want the battle music. Be the last. Makes me feel sad. Thanks for the follows, guys. Welcome in, lovelies. Hey, Twisted, thank you so much for saying that. How's it going, lovely? She loves him now. As the boss says, we'll see. Look, look, look. Listen, listen. He's a terrible guy. I know he's a terrible guy. I'm dressed as a terrible woman. I think Scarlet has done atrocious stuff. I am not in support of what Scarlet does. But I love the way she looks when she does them. You can't fault me. I, I, I can see them, guys. Auto cast materia. How can you how can you get mad at me when they look like that? It's it's Square Enix's fault, because I didn't have to make them hot like that. Activates auto cast, allows an ally to automatically use spells with linked material when not actually controlled during battle. But this is the thing, they used to do that in remake, so now I think it's part of a skill. 
If they make Jill playable in the new 16 DLC, I will give the game an 11 out of 10. I do love Jill. I want to explore her more. You can watch a triangle bar fill up on the bottom left. Um, oh, it lands, attacks a, Saf a Sephiroth. That's when you know you can use special attacks. Okay. Right. Hey, Edward. The director didn't even name in Game of Thrones yet, and the marketing put you right off. That's that's fair. That's totally fair. Um, I, if you've not played it, for anyone that's like listening in and you haven't yet played 16 and you're on the fence about it, I thought the story was incredible. I think it has wildly interesting and amazing characters. I would totally give it a go. To, to me, it still felt like it had, oh yeah, Final Fantasy-ness to it. Um, and it's not a massive game. I spent a while playing it because I spent a while playing all these games, but yeah. Scarlet Sephiroth power couple. I mean, genuinely, God. How hot would their children be? Not that they should procreate, probably. However, comment. It looks so hot. Elevator access restricted due to Mako gas concentrations. Air purification unit must be employed to clear excess Mako gas. One, Cordy goes, I support women's rights, but more importantly, women's wrongs. <laughs> Clearly. And then Sephiroth mimics what I said. Yeah, we'd make terrible, but really good looking kids. You can't, where is the lie? Only, only the truth. Unfortunately, I don't make the rules, guys. You're just misunderstood. You're just horribly, horribly misunderstood. And I can't wait to now learn and see all the atrocities that Sephiroth undoubtedly... Oh no, I can't bring it over there, can I? Oh no, I, I might be able to squeeze it through. Uh, commit, and then you guys are gonna go, Java, is this your man? That he's man. If Hojo looked and spoke like Scarlet, but said the same things, would you, would you be doubt atrocious? Ooh, I mean, Hojo just is such nasty work. He's such nasty work. That's really tough. Gas levels reduced by 20%. Damn it to hell. I brought this shit out too early. There's no way the cable's gonna stretch. Gas levels reduced by 70%. Please let me move it over here, please. I know they won't. I just know they won't. That's the whole point of the door. Yeah, all right, just bring it in. It's not gonna happen. Lemon Day, hey, how long are we gonna stream today? I don't know. I'm torn between being irresponsible and trying to stream for a while or being more responsible and not, especially because my plan is to get this up on YouTube uh, tomorrow. And we are streaming tomorrow, we're streaming Saturday, we're streaming Sunday. Uh, damn, I don't think this cable's gonna stretch. Please, game, please. No, what, what? I will say, and I've said this, I feel like I've said this a bunch already. Come on, come on. Uh, no. I no muscle gas detected. Elevator access granted. Um, I am so excited and deeply appreciative of how many of you that are here today. It's been lovely having so many of you guys follow and see the stream for the first time um it makes a massive 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 difference so thank you and it's like when there are so many of you here it just makes me not want to end the stream but then it also gives you guys a chance like get ahead da, 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 da. yeah i support being irresponsible 12 hour stream confirmed yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Savage. Mom, you your party mouth. Even Scott and Heidegger, disgust. Yeah, Hojo. Hojo is vile. I think Hojo is wildly well written. 
so interesting and we were talking about it he's a very like there's no middle ground there's no like oh maybe maybe he's not so bad it's like no 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 no. he is unequivocally undoubtedly undeniably bad uh and i like that simplicity at times you know we're going 24 hour stream we most certainly are not going 24 hour stream i love you guys but i can't do that Responsible is good for sanity YouTube purposes. Responsible because you have a marathon ahead of you this coming week. True. True. Gotta angle the machine different. I know what we got there in the end. Yeah. Where is it good to have sanity? I wouldn't know. I would not know. It is a lot of streams. And I'm hoping to, like, plan to, like, play a lot on the weekend. So I hope I get to see you guys there as well. Change an elixir. But the thing that is surprising me not concerning maybe mildly concerning the the demo for this game must have been long but also weren't there two demos that came out because i'm not even past the demo portion java asked us to sub goal earlier me thinks 24 hour stream okay. looks like a way out okay Wait. Huh? What? Get back. This way. You said you wanted to be a hero. Okay, Materia Guardian. Actually, let's try and build up ATB as far. Yes, we have the music, guys. I love this music. It is weak to fire, which I think works enough. No, I don't think I have fire magnified. That sucks. Evading its capture attempts or freed, freeing captured allies will pressure it. Destroy its legs whilst it's on the ceiling will also pressure it. Spoiler alert! It makes its way up to the ceiling. Yeah, okay. Keep your guard up. Uh, hang on. Yeah, hang on. Discrete enemy parts. Certain enemies may have individual body parts that you can target and attack. Destroying these discrete parts can pressure your foe or prevent it from unleashing powerful abilities. How do I reach it? Okay. Where is Cloud? Isn't this the block? Yeah, oh, I see. Yes, it is. But I can do the dual blade dance. Oh. Get it together. On the hind leg. Yes. yes. <laughs> On me. with a sword. Yep. Try to keep your guard up. What do you want me to do? Call fire. Okay, exploits to practices. Good yeah, stuff. Yeah. Time to kick it up a notch. Oh, hang on. Get him. Show him what we can do. Wasted that. It's all you, Burn. Stand. 
Why do I have... Oh, shit. Fire now takes two ATB gauges, uh, uh, gauges to use. That is new. Interesting. Go for the lane. How perfectly timed is that? So interesting that that's the case. I feel like that really changes things. Uh, braver. Limit breaks. Taking damage and staggering enemies fills your limit gauge. When the gauge is full, you can use limit breaks, which are extremely powerful attacks. You do not need to spend ATB charges to use these attacks. Great. I mean, incredible. It's still alive? But I can't damage it? They did with that. That's not fair. That's not fair. They knew what they were doing. <clears throat> Sephiroth and Cloud Synergy Ability. Turn the tables on the Beast of the Mountain with a coordinated attack from Cloud and Sephiroth. Use their double helix synergy ability from the commands menu to bring the material garden crashing down to the cave floor. Double helix synergy ability from the commands menu. Okay. I don't like the looks of this. Stay alert. Double helix. Yes, sir. Whoa. That was insane. That gorgeous bomb. I mean, Jesus, how beautiful. Like, compare that to any of the biggest, uh, like, enemy fights previously, and you can't. Nice work. In, like, the, in the previous game. You know what I mean. Hopefully you know what I mean. <laughs> okay, hold up. Maybe I'm missing something here. But everything you've said makes Sephiroth sound like a stand-up guy. Well, he wasn't born bad. Well, he was. And now he's pure evil, trying to yeah. kill everyone on the planet. Help me to understand this shit. I can't. Tell me <laughs> something that'll really make my blood boil. Oh, I will. I will. Interesting. Thank you for the follows, guys. Welcome and lovely followers. I'm thrilled that you're here. You wait out here, Tifa. No way! I want to go too. Please? Sorry, no civilians. Even if we weren't on a mission. Come on! Keep the young lady safe. Carry on. Oh. Bless her. I love her so much. You better keep me safe. Okay, interesting stuff. Fanboying Sephiroth so hard. Everyone and their mother is fanboying him. Can you blame them? No. Jesus, he's gorgeous. It's terrible. It's lovely, it's terrible, it's amazing, it's awful. 
I'm conflicted. <laughs> but I do love how they're setting this up. I think they're doing a fantastic job. Um, the storytelling here, the swapping between present day and the stuff in the past, I think is very interesting and very well done. I mean, all in all, people must have just been so happy playing this demo. I'm scared about this elevator, but I also have to use the elevator. Let's not be crazy. Let's not be crazy. Yeah, I better take care of the Shinra Trooper. We're watching you. Damn, the game says absolutely not. All right. How do you feel about Carlton Tiva's interactions in the flashbacks? How do I say this? There is no such thing as waifu wars. I do not prescribe to waifu wars. We don't need to pick one or the uh, one over the other, guys, okay? Both women are amazing. We don't need to pit the women against one another. I love them both. Okay, with that in mind, it does seem like Cloud and Tifa have like a real, it's hinted at that they knew each other as children, but there seems to be like hinting something more there. I don't know. Keep in mind before anyone, anyone whose fingers are about to itch they're itching to type on the keyboard whether you're watching on twitch or you're watching on youtube please keep in mind i have not played the og final fantasy okay i don't know what happens i don't know how his opinions change i don't know anything about the relationships other than what they show me right now okay please don't no waifu war no scarlet yeah scott there you go scarlet's better than tifa and Aerith. we can agree on that of course didn't expect it to be all systems go. All women are queens, exactly. Output, like most last gen models. Then let me guess. Pillagers don't have a clue about this. No way, should not? Of course not. The company really needs to be more transparent. Tell that to the president. What exactly is the problem with this place? The people in charge. The company needs to be more transparent. The jurisdiction of urban planning. This one is overseen by R&D. Huh. Why do I suddenly have a bad feeling about this? Whatever you see here, you are not to speak of it. Oh, I won't. Can I not climb over this? This one's overseen by R&D, I think he had said, right? Yes, we don't need to pit the women against one another. Yet yeah, today's special because there's Scarlet in the game. Exactly. Sephiroth is the best girl. You're right. Sipko, welcome in. How's it going? I do not hate Aerith. Shush. That is slanderous. You'll be hearing from my lawyer. All right. Scarlet's mother, but she's not better than Tifa. None of them are better than none of them are better than any of the others. But Scarlet is mother. We can we can agree on that. I think war is over, guys. We can agree on just that much. And thank you all so much for the follows. I'm so thrilled. Thank you, thank you. Welcome in, lovies. Oh yeah, R and D is Hojo's division. Okay. Oh yeah, because uh, Scarlet's tech, uh, not tech. What do you call it? Uh, weaponry. She's the weapon. Everything to do with weapons. Which I honestly love. Yeah. R&D in charge of reactor? I know, it's gonna go swimmingly, guys. Couldn't possibly be something wrong that could happen. There is an Oscar Match Gate Ball. How much does Java hate Aerith? I don't. It, said, it just said yes, definitely. To be fair, you didn't ask a yes or no question, but also I that does not make me feel very confident. Shush. Magic eight balls and op. I hate it. Java loves Rufus. Oh, Rufus is gorgeous. They're all gorgeous. Can you blame me, guys? Can you honestly blame me? I know, exposed. You hate to see it. It's not true, guys. It's not true. I love them all equally. And I said this in my playthrough of Seven earlier. One of the things that I do really love, and I'm excited to explore more, is it doesn't seem like they pit Tifa. Ooh. 
and Aerith against one another, which I like. Perhaps you'd like to say a few words to your sword first? A few words to my sword. <laughs> Is that what all men do? Do they talk to their swords? Okay, well this looks terrible. Look up. Classic alien, yeah. Hojo, you are really something. Damn. What are those things? It is actually very reminiscent of Alien. A little bit. I don't know, the drool that coming down. Those look like pods. Genova. Genova? Wasn't that... Is he, are you expecting this to be here, Sephiroth? Function must be forcing the pods to depressurize. Cloud, go out and shut off the valve. Copy. Oh no. I wonder what happens if you try and go up to him. Will it will he let you? No, it will not. You get your warning. The game's like follow the damn plan. Hey, Orin Bolt. Knowing nothing about Final Fantasy stuff, is long haired dude Malfoy's dad? Yes. <laughs> yes, he is. We actually play as my Malfoy ourselves. Um, well, the final boss fight is actually Tifa versus Aerith. Imagine. This whole time they do such a good job. They don't pit the women against one another. It's really lovely to see. And then all in the end, Cloud goes, well, if one of you wants to be with me, you have to fight for me. And then the girls go, you're so much better with me, Cloud. No, you're so much better with me. <laughs> and then it all just ends up like that. Hey, Iron Toast, how are you doing? Oh, I'm not doing this nearly fast enough. Hang on. Oh, no. You told us to behave. I couldn't help it. Come on, it was right... you do what are you doing these pods were built for the production of artificial materia but hojo repurpose them as incubators cages for animals shields with mako all to birth a new breed of monster But he didn't stop at animals. Oh no. There were other subjects. Look. Great music, guys. <gasps> Sorry. Why would you think that? Ever since I was a child, I knew. I knew that I was different. That I was special. But not like this. Not like this. But why would you think you're like that? Except 
off your eyes. You seem fairly human. Eventually, we went back to the inn. But when we got there, Sephiroth locked himself in his room. The mayor had been looking forward to having dinner with bona fide soldiers, so he didn't take the news too well. Dad had to put up with his belly aching for hours afterward. Huh? Hmm? Must have sucked. But what about Sephiroth? What happened to him? We're getting there. He left. Didn't tell a soul where he was going. Oh, shit. Sephiroth's whereabouts, we don't know. Okay. And so, uh, alright, okay, okay. He was not expecting his mother to be there. I don't even know if he knows that that was his mother in there. Because all he said is Genova, that was my mother's name. But I guess if he's saying that, am I not human, am I born like this? He must have a sense that those animals are born from Genova. I met Sephiroth as he was heading for Shinra Manor. And he Ooh. acted like I wasn't even there. Busy, I suppose. Shinra Manor. All right, there's trouble afoot, guys. You want to see some uh, Masamune slice some sashimi? It'd be very well sliced. Very thin, very precise. Looking for Sephiroth? He just left, I'm afraid. Maybe he needed some fresh air? He's definitely built different. There's something going on. Mm -hmm. For sure. Ah, I did see him leave a little while ago. But he doesn't look like those things, so I'm not sure why that would be Haven't his... I haven't heard anything about the reactor either. What happened up there anyway? Oh, sorry. Uh, Hallie says, uh, he did say at the beginning that his mother had died shortly after he was born. But we know. Well, I guess she's still dead. Like, how she's being used by Hojo. But then... Don't don't I'm I'm just like positing don't answer. Something's been off ever since he came back from the reactor. Too much exposure to Mako? Then we ought to bring him some medicine. Am I supposed to be following you? Where are you heading to? Um Well frankly, I was just trying to chase these guys down because I thought they had like a side mission. But I guess they're meant to be here to guide us towards where we need to go. Yeah, it doesn't seem like there's anything else. Manor was the biggest building in town. And older than the reactor. The company used to conduct research there, back when they were still a small manufacturer. Even so, the rent on that plot was basically what kept the village afloat. Well, here we are. What now? I mean, the whole place is pitch black. You think he's sleeping or something? What if he's sick and needs our help? Him? A little Mako poisoning isn't gonna hurt a living legend. Everyone has has human frailty and it's beautiful, okay? Even uh, Mega Man Sephiroth. Now, what was I even saying? I mean, whatever I was saying, I definitely wouldn't want answers to because um, it's inevitably all spoilers. But whatever state Genova's in, well, I guess she's still dead, but she's just, her body's being used. I don't know. And clearly this whole time Seth Sephiroth has been bigged up to be better than other than crazy wild different. So it's not surprising that he goes, that he believes I'm different than. I don't know. It's like, well, when he went to the reactor, I don't think he was expecting to see Genova like that. But the reaction was kind of weird. I don't know. Complete disrepair. But what's the point of having a mansion if you're not gonna live in Took it? Took a look around the place, but 
Sephiroth was nowhere to be seen. Now, hang on a minute, Cloud. I've not had a proper look around the place. Someone wrote, I forget who it was, earlier on in chat wrote uh, Resident Evil lighting. This very much is giving Resident Evil mansion in disrepair. Okay, there's a lift. That's a lift. Okay, well, I don't want to take that yet. I wonder which Shinra person that's meant to be. Gosh, I feel less confused than I did, I think, when I was playing Final Fantasy VII Remake at first, but still confused enough that I know that I'm playing a Final Fantasy game, you know? <laughs> if I were any less confused, then I wouldn't be convinced that I was playing Final Fantasy, you know? That's not how this works. What is this here? You would think that's also an elevator, but also not. Maybe that other thing isn't even- Oh shit, you can't even go that way. Okay. Well, that makes that easy. Off we go back. I love this uh, Sephiroth emote. Oh, Maximilians, there you go. That's great. 15 out of 10. Do approve. so much for the tier one two months you absolute lovely i am so monumentally thrilled that is incredibly kind of you thank you thank you how are you guys doing how are you feeling i have to again give the biggest shout out it is because never knew it had a basement was news to me too doubt anyone in the village had a clue mm. it's because of so many of you lovely people subscribe tier one two and three to the channel that we have uh the cosplay today Ooh, turn back. Hey, Ilias, thank you so much for the tier one 18 months. Dope cosplay, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Torn, no, turn back, that has to be turn back. It means the world to me, you lovely, thank you so much. Yeah, turn back. I can't read that. Pandemonium, that's where we came from, wow. Oi, 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 thank you, lovely people. It means the absolute world to me. I'm thrilled that we came up with something. I don't, I don't want to get stuck. Um, something to do towards towards the end of uh, the end of the month, you know? Damn, I know this is crazy. I just want to do a save. I feel like there are so many rooms to explore and I would hate to feel like locked out of something. You know what I mean? Chat, it's happening this stream. I don't know what that means. Okay, can't open that. The door is locked. Okay. Now, would this door have been locked? Because this is also a door. Great, that is also locked. All right, okay. The world is becoming a little smaller in a good way. This doesn't go anywhere. Yeah, I can't climb that. No, no, no. Uh, panic save uh, panic saving everywhere all the time it's not a it's not a java playthrough if we're not saving incessantly i just i can't risk having something go wrong and losing it you will know when it's time okay i'm very nervous excavated from a 2000 year old rock layer life form in stasis. Professor Gast named this life form Genova. Okay. Definitely not a human mother. M-E-G-L 77-1977 Genova verified as an ancient uh, M-E-G-L 913-1977 Genova project approved. So, they named the life form Genova. And once they understood what she was, they grew ambitious. Hey, Sephiroth. What you got there? Leave me be. No, 
was it. He stayed holed up in the basement. Reading, reading, like a man possessed. Gotcha, Nova. A locked reactor door. The name of Sephiroth's mother. And an ancient. Ah, screw it. Racking my brain's not gonna get me anywhere. May as well just ask the guy. so focused. I'm sorry, I'm like barely breathing. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Cloud. I've come across the most fascinating passage. The specimen found in strata dating back 2,000 years smiled with what could only be described as ethereal grace. Though the truth eluded me at first, I later determined that she was an ancient, or a steward of the planet, as they are referred to in legend. Yes, yeah, such ethereal grace. She needed a name, and so I dubbed her Genova. But you knew that. The Genova project was approved soon after. A bold initiative to resurrect the long dead ancients. An initiative and resulted in my conception. Mm. Or rather, my creation. Mm. The crowning glory of Professor Gas' wondrous experiment. Mm. He created you? should go mother is waiting hey hey hold on oh. Keep asking myself, why couldn't I have come too sooner? If I had, maybe I could have saved the village. Or tried, at least. I mean, he did just say that he could have tried to save the village. Uh... Okay, so Sephiroth has had self-realization. He understands he does not have... Hey, you! Get in there! The villagers need your help! Damn, he, he does not have a mother in the traditional sense. A mother and father in the traditional sense of the word. He is a lab experiment. And now he wants to retrieve his mum. But I don't understand why, why destroy the village? Let me throw my son to him there! Damn. Sorry, he's gone. Oh my God, the crying. Mom. Oh, it's my mum. 
Mom, I'm here. Oh no, wait. Is it true? No. Where was my mom? Get your head straight. I need you to secure the way out. Now. Yes, sir. Ay, ay, ay. But he. Why would he? Oh, it's something so excruciatingly painful about moving slowly in video games like this but not because i'm like being impatient it's it's wanting and willing and wishing that you could push it push it further and you can't and it's like oh it feels terrible yeah he's a great guy everyone he's just misunderstood damn it won't let me open that door where do you want me to check on oh through here through here through here oh my god And everyone, keep in mind when we first came to the village. Everyone, on, um, I'm coming. Can I can I use that as a valve? Everyone's singing Sephiroth's praises, right? <laughs> Amazing Sephiroth, great guy Sephiroth. And so to now have it be juxtaposed like this feels crazy. Sephiroth's literally cooking. Stop. That's so rude. Yeah. Yeah, it's annoying. I, I'm not even annoyed. Ordinarily, I'd be like, oh, yeah, annoying that we can't sprint here or anything. But I, I'm not annoyed about it at all because you feel the agony of Cloud wanting to. Because also, keep in mind, Cloud said, like, that was the last time, the, the scene that we had with his mom was the last time he saw her. So if I had to guess, I don't think we see our mom again. Or if we do, if we make it to our mom, I assume she's already dead. Obviously, no one tell me. Um, which then makes this whole scene so much more excruciating because you desperately want to get Cloud to his mom. But no, it's not going to happen. Isn't that a water tower? Shouldn't shouldn't water be pouring from Please. that? Please be okay. Sephir. This is me checking on my mum, right? Yeah, it's me checking on my mum. It makes it cut yeah, that much more deep, exactly. Sephiroth drank it all out of spite. <laughs> Terrible. I don't know, this looks more like TV static than it did in the previous game. Run away. Okay. You have to leave. You have to live. Yeah. So sad. So hey. sad. Hey! Hang in there! You're gonna be okay. Don't worry. I got you. Come on, let's get you up. Ooh, that music change. He has been unleashed. feels crazy. He's just going around stabbing everyone like that. The, this segment, the L2, the R2, feels so good. What a great way to do this, instead of having it play as a cutscene. Sadistic. Terrible. And they're still surrounding. Guys, shoot! You have to at least try and shoot him. You can't just stand there with the guns and not do something. Oh.
And the lovely mayor. I feel so sad. I mean, Jesus. And look how beautiful it all looks. Horrifying, but beautifully done. I mean, Jesus. Wait for me. I'm coming. doesn't try and kill us why doesn't he try and kill us what a great shot don't tell me why he doesn't try and kill us sorry that's all a rhetorical question just assume anything I ask is rhetorical Thank you so much, Organic. Thank you so much. Welcome in, lovely. I mean, Jesus, look at it, guys. You can't just take us back here. I followed Sephiroth all I mean, the you way can, back to the reactor. Dad and I have gone there to hide. Of course. When Sephiroth showed up. Dad decided that he was going to come. And this would be why Tifa has struggles hearing about Sephiroth. Dad. I loved her it dad. It was Sephiroth, wasn't it? He did this, didn't he? Sephiroth. Soldiers. Mako. Shinra. I'm sick of this. I'm sick of all of this! <laughs> oh shit! I mean, look how long that sword is when she holds it. I mean, Jesus. Thank you for the follows, guys. Thank you so much. Welcome in. Oi, oi, oi. Mother, I have come for you. Great piece of music. I mean, all now of this is. Open the way for me. You murdered my dad. You burned my village! God bless Tifa for being so brave, huh? No sh okay, I was like, no shot he destroys his blade. It's a shallow cut. I mean, Jesus. Also, I'll catch up and chat after the cutscene. Don't worry. Look, his priority is to make sure Tifa's safe. I promised you'd save me. If I was ever crying or in trouble.
Here I am. Oh, it looks like wings. Your son. The cables. Mother. Together we will reclaim our world. And I know exactly how we can do that. The promised land. Sephira! She looks very different than I remember her. <laughs> Mother. They have come again. The ones who robbed you of the planet. Your planet. But there's no need to be sad, Mother. Because I'm here for you. Now and forever. No, because that's his mother in the tank. Yes. You killed my mom. You killed Tifa. My village. My home. <laughs> they were mine by right. This planet, too. For I have been chosen. Not great, guys. Not great. I believed in you. No. Not you! Whoever the hell you are! a lot going on and i promise i'll catch up with chat afterwards calm present day but there's and something that happens that's the last thing i remember the rest mm. is a blank the hell it is what happened it was all over the news i remember watching it with my mom they said he went missing during a training exercise but then the story changed a couple days later, they started reporting that he was killed in action. Yeah, that was it. The news outlets are nothing but Shinra mouthpieces spewing propaganda. Only dumbasses believe that shit. Question. Does that make me a dumbass? Uh, I didn't say By that. By Barrett's definition, what I meant yes. was, <laughs> screw Shinra for manipulating honest folks. It doesn't matter what they said back then. Sephiroth was in Midgar. We fought him. Whatever happened, he's alive. Don't know about alive so much as around. Mm. But why come back now? To finish the job. After five years, doing who knows what. Can you because commune with them? He wants to finish what he started. He wants to reclaim his birthright mm. and rule over the planet with Jenova at his side. After five years? Not to sound like a broken record, but it's really bothering me. Well, what's bothering me is all this Jenova stuff. Excuse me. Guess the travel or something really did a number on my back. Feels as stiff as a board. Let me take a look. <sighs> ah! Wow. You weren't kidding, were you? Let's get you back to the room. Yeah. Let's just call it a night. Bless no Aaron. Of guesswork will get us any closer to the truth. So how about we give our heads a rest? I feel like she did that because she knew things were tense since she tried to like dispel the tension. Uh, oh no, you don't. That bad. I love you, Barrett. I love you. See you tomorrow. Oh. oh my 
my gosh. Still more cutscenes, still more cutscenes. Hey, Aerith? You awake? Barely. Why? And we get to see them in pajamas for once. Or at least Aerith. I was Aerith. wondering, what's Cloud been doing these past Oh no, maybe he's just, just taking the Where's jacket off. Been? And you're asking me this? Just had a feeling you'd know. Probably did, at one point. All that stuff was taken from me, though. Or... Maybe erased? By whispers? Yeah. Maybe that's why. Why what? <laughs> this is gonna sound crazy, but... As far as I know, Cloud was never in Nibelheim five years ago. Oh my god. <laughs> Were you not there? Did you not see that your did you did Did you not see your dad get hurt by Sephiroth? You up? I mean, Jesus. <laughs> that was a lot, a lot, a lot to have had to have had happen. I do want to say really quickly, Valorant, welcome in. First time here, love the stream. Watching since the start credits, fellow Brit here. Massive welcome in, you absolutely lovely. Or rather, you've been here since the credits, but it, it's so lovely for you to say that and to pop in chat. It's your favorite game watching this, giving me goosebumps. It's fantastic. It's so, so, so well done. I'm genuinely blown away by all of this and thank you guys also for being patient great viewers here no spoilers or anything yet given away it's it's they i adore you guys to the absolute moon and back it goes without saying i cannot be more appreciative that you guys have been such good sports and behaving so well and thank you for the compliments on the scarlet cosplay thank you bless those uh, uh Aerith really is so deeply empathetic you can tell she's like very much sensitive to the people around her and i appreciate that she doesn't I think she's quite intelligent, okay? So I appreciate that she doesn't mind herself, like, making, like, um... Y you know how some people will do this where, like, to take the heat off of certain things, they'll make themselves look stupid, but it's so that everyone else in the room feels more comfortable? I get that vibe with Aerith, and I do appreciate that. And may maybe it's, I don't know, I'm reading that into her character because that's how... I would hope that she is, that she's not just some silly whatever. I think she is quite smart and deeply caring. I think she's like very um, good at reading people in situations like that. Thank you for the hydrate. Cloud's a bloody liar. No, Legion, hey. I'm thrilled to have you back, lovely. How's it going? Yeah, yeah, so good. So smart, right? I'm so thrilled. Aerith is very special. Yeah, it's cool watching someone who's really paying attention. Oh, like you encounter all this. Yeah, truly blind. Thank you. I am really glad. It does make me feel bad when I'm obviously I'm streaming. I'm not interacting with you guys, but it's because I desperately want to focus on the story. So I think I will chat through some like thoughts and opinions and what have you. But as I break down these thoughts and, and theories that I have, obviously lovely twitch chat continue being lovely please don't confirm or deny if i'm right don't don't just 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 you know silently nod to yourselves or nope to yourselves uh and for the lovely people who are watching this on youtube when this does go live also please don't comment in the comments about whether or not i'm right or wrong about this stuff um oh wait i'm glad i picked the stream for rebirth oh i'm so thrilled oh thank you so much for saying that i'm so thrilled to have you in um, and that makes me so really happy to hear. Um, yeah, no, please ignore us as you wish. Oh, we're here to share the story with you. Thank you. It makes me feel good. I, I always feel bad. Yeah, just smile and wave, guys. No, okay, so let's talk through thoughts. I think the thing that's tripping me up the most right now is clearly 
some sort of dual it's either dual timelines going on obviously what happened with Aerith, Zack and Aerith at the beginning of the game but also just then hearing Tifa go oh I'm not actually sure that Cloud was there five years ago because we've just played through this whole segment where Tifa was very aware that Cloud was there and Tifa was involved in that but is it that Tifa's memory is wiped I also I'm not yet sure why Sephiroth chose to spare Cloud because if you watch him in that whole rampage he doesn't seem to have a lot of compassion so I don't know if I would necessarily buy the whole like oh he's been close with Cloud and feels closely with him and therefore spares him. I do think that Cloud and Sephiroth have an important connection. There is part of me that wonders if Cloud and Sephiroth are related to one another in any way. I think I would frankly be kind of disappointed if it turned out that Cloud and Sephiroth were related. Um, because I feel like that would be easy to do. But one thing's for sure, two things are for certain. However the story plays out, it's going to be phenomenal because there's a reason this game is everyone's favorite game and everyone bigs up the story and everyone tells me how confusing it's going to be. It is very, very confusing. And the thing that I really do have to give credit to Square Enix for and, and the, the people involved in this game, right? all video games or all media whether it's a video game or or a film or a tv show what have you but i'm going to speak with speak with talking about video games need to have like in the beginning hours need to have set up some kind of intrigue some kind of mystery something that you as a player pulls you through and along right i don't think players just get involved with the games because of the gameplay loop i think there needs to be like a big question a big what if i don't want to spoil these video games for you guys so i won't say what the big what if is but if you think of like final fantasy 16 at the end of the demo there's a very clear oh my god what's happening question set up that pulls you through i think horizon zero dawn is another one of those games that does that really well and there's a whole handful of games that do that really well and i think what's really interesting about this game is that they set there's a whole bunch of things that you're questioning and yet i don't feel frustrated i think if there are a lot of these other games where there are so many things that i'm unsure about I think I would consistently be like, oh, for God's sake, like this is getting to be too much, but it's it's still like very, very interesting, super intriguing, what have you. Yeah, don't tell the truth, don't tell the truth. Five minutes and it's a good place to stop. Okay, that's good to know, that's good to know. I guess you guys will let me know when the demo ended originally. So much to look forward to. Yes, yeah, so many questions answered. I'm so looking forward to it, genuinely. Totally normal to be confused, that's good. Okay, great yeah <clears throat> yeah interesting yeah interesting ninja man yeah so good but i want to hear your big what if M my big what if in what way hom yeah good for you the story needs a lot of attention and i love how they've done that whole pushing the l2 r2 to crawl as you see sephiroth, sephiroth standing there i think that it would be so ordinary and normal for a lot of games to have it so that um you know, you're just watching a cutscene or something, but that interactiveness was so like painstaking. You just wanted to try and be there and help and it was just horrible. Yeah, there are fair, a lot of completely new mysteries in Remake and Rebirth, that's interesting. Demo ended where Sethroth turned to smile. Oh, and the flames in the village, ah. Ended when he killed the mayor. And what a great cliffhanger to end on for the demo. That's great, that's amazing. Yeah, you couldn't exactly tell me when it ended, yeah. <laughs> Uh, before when I asked, yeah. So people want you to push forward a little more. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll push forward. Chapter one will end in. Yeah, 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 I'll finish chapter one for sure. Yeah, yeah. Marvel needs to take notes in Square Enix and how to do a multiverse. Yeah, whatever's happening here, there's something going on and there's a lot of intrigue. A lot, a lot of intrigue. Yeah. Going to be honest, Rebirth answered the questions of Remake, but raised a slew of others. Wait, Lels, no way have you finished playing this game. No way have you finished it. The demo, yeah, ended, yeah. Hey, organic artists, by the way, welcome in. It's super interesting watching your takes on this since you've never played the OG. Yeah, I played the OG, so it's interesting to be able to compare. That is 
good that makes me feel good and it's a great time to like re caveat um i will absolutely inevitably be saying things that are so wrong and i again i don't have the context i'll be viewing characters differently than maybe everyone else will because i don't have experience with it um so just just all know okay i have not played the og and that's how you know i've not played the og um because i'm saying these things that could be very very wrong you have some nice theories thank you okay well that's good um let's carry on i for the most part like for any lovely people new in i'm thrilled that you're here for the most part um i like after especially when you it's a big chunk of like story beats like where we learn a lot of story big things or we have a lot of cutscenes. i typically like to pause not just as a chance to chat with chat um if that were the case i would cut it out of the youtube video um but i like to pause to like give like a little debrief some thoughts some feelings theories what have you so that we're like properly absorbing the game so this playthrough will not be a playthrough where we're just like breezing through the gameplay um i think you guys have probably seen that by now the cutscene with sephiroth walking through the fire was my favorite scene in the original definitely gave me goosebumps i would love to see what that looks like in the original um obviously i wouldn't want spoilers so you haven't played og i've not played og i didn't play obviously i didn't play the demo for rebirth i've not seen the trailer for rebirth i've tried to avoid any social media posts about rebirth as much as possible so i could go into this knowing as little as physically possible um and i do have that in the stream title but it's covered up by the scarlet cosplay thing so in tomorrow's stream and subsequent streams you'll see where it says that yeah 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 no spoilers please i don't know what the spoilers were did i ever see the final fantasy 7 movie nope didn't see any final fantasy 7 movies i've not seen any playthroughs of final fantasy 7 the only contact i have with the final fantasy franchise is playing through final fantasy 16 final fantasy 7 remake uh final fantasy 7 remakes dlc intermission kingdom hearts 1 three quarters of kingdom hearts 2 and that's it I don't know anything else. I've not played anything else. I'm like completely fresh into this. And thank you guys for the follows and thank you guys for being so lovely. Just an idea, you should react to some remake rebirth comparisons to the OG. Yeah, after I'm done with the game, that would be great. I would love to do that. Director of the game is nothing short and brilliant. Wow, amazing. Should we really play the, oh, should we play the ad before we move? Yeah, mm -hmm. Yeah, the cosplay I enjoy the most when she dresses up as Java. Hey, Adam, thank you so much. Uh, Tifa's waiting for us. I like that red's tail. It's not like hair on fire. It's just the end of his tail on fire. I love red. I love his voice, dude. Barrett asleep. Okay. Charmander. I know. I thought of Charmander. Sorry, did I wake you? Not at all. Nope. What's going on? Nope. Oh, uh, it's nothing, really. There's just something I need to ask you. So, can we talk? Sure. I'm in love with you. Great, but not here. Follow me. Where the majestic cat dog. He really is. Uh, I was very confused for a while. They're connected somehow. And I killed her. So, who is she? Or rather, what is she? <gasps> no, I need to pause for a second. Sorry, I need to pause. I think I will lose my ever living shit if. Tifa turns out to be a fake or something. I'm going to lose my mind, dude. Oi, oi, oi. I'm going to actually... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they just followed up with this jazz... I don't know what even. I mean... Here's a thought. And I had to pause it because I couldn't talk over the jazz, the, the, the crazy sax, the intense saxophone. Don't anyone confirm or deny. I'm just getting a thought out there, okay? 
what if No, but Tifa was in the helicopter. Tifa was in the helicopter that Zack approached. But what if this timeline that we're in with Cloud right now isn't real? And that's how Sephiroth keeps on coming back to us because Sephiroth is only interacting with us in this timeline. But he could only interact with us in this timeline because... We've only played as Cloud in this timeline. But what if what if what's happening with Zack and Aerith and like that whole thing is the real timeline? And this is all fake. And the game can't happen where like Cloud wakes up in a bed and goes, it was all a dream. Like we can't have that shit happening. That would be crazy. That would be crazy in like a very not good way. You're so confused about this as well. I'm so confused. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just Tifa is a shapeshifter. I'm sure that's it. They've done a great job with the mind games. Hey, Frog. How's it going? Lovely. Thank you. Don't overthink. You're just going crazy like Cloud. <laughs> I'm scared, dude. Yep, Tifa is already confirmed. Yeah, that's the crossover we've been expecting. Okay, I had to pause and get the thought out there. Waiting for Barrett to say, are we in some kind of Final Fantasy? That would actually be hilarious. Oh no, sorry. The okay, wait, wait. Sorry, sorry, sorry. There was part of me that's like, oh my god. Is it called Final Fantasy? Because we're in the Final Fantasy. But it's been called Final Fantasy for ages. So it's not been called that because of this. But I actually did have like a mild panic attack because of that. Oh, she's your favorite game. And I'm loving what they've done. Yeah, to mess with us. This is so good. <laughs> Okay, back to the flute. Uh, she did walk it out this way. Yes, she is on the deck somewhere here. I feel ill. Like, not literally. Like, emotionally ill. Wow, look at this place. I don't know why. For whatever reason, this for a split second reminded me of um, Lies of P. <laughs> it makes no sense. Do you think Midgar's over there? Uh, do I think any of this is real? I don't know. Are you alive? Anyway. There's something I need to ask you too. <laughs> Shoot. That night, five years ago, at the reactor, I saw you lying there. Saw your wound and all the blood. I figured it was too late. Yeah? <gasps> Wait, what are you implying? That I died? That I'm some kind of imposter? Why would you say that? Why would you say that that quickly? Why would you say that? Why would you think that? I can't believe I'm having this conversation with you. But here we are. Here, look. Don't put my hand on your heart. My scar, that proof enough? After you left, Zongon found me. He's the one who brought me to the clinic. He risked his life carrying me out of the reactor and down the river. Wasn't just him though. There's the doctor who operated on me all night and the nurses who looked after me for days on end. I'm here now because they were there for me then. And where were you again? Well, where was In I? Fact, where have you been this whole time? For five years. You know, I can't tell you that. Of course you can't. Sorry, I just need some space. I don't know why her one, I love that CM and I both thought the same thing about uh, Hotel Krat. Two, I don't know. And I look, look, look. 
and this is also should be said if anyone is new in and this is your first time seeing me or seeing any of my content i'm one monumentally thrilled that you're here but two i need to let you know now i am a chronic overthinker so i may be like way over analyzing this but it does seem very bizarre that Tifa's first instinct would to be to say what you think that I died or that I'm fake. And it's like, actually, yeah, it's exactly what I, I think. I thought we could just pick up where we left off. Like nothing had changed. But why would you think that? But I guess I was wrong. Guess so. Damn. I was so happy to see you again, but maybe I shouldn't have been. I'm in love with you, Tifa! It just feels like a weird thing to jump to so quickly, you know? Best to leave them alone for now, which is true, but I just wanted to try. I feel so bad. Why did Carl mention this when he saw in Sector 7? I, 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 yeah. Cloud, say sorry. Exactly, Shibuya. Welcome you two in. Fight. No. Yes. Kind of. We have enough problems as it is. Copy. Copy. Night. Tomorrow is another day. Never meet your heroes. Wow. Chapter two, a new journey begins. The inn at calm the next morning. Incredible. Interesting, interesting, interesting. He was kind of implying that she died. Why bring it up if not that? I guess, yeah. At least he takes the yeah, at least take the pauldron off cloud yet. Something. It's interesting, huh? Yeah, he sounded like he was interrogating her about dying. He was bringing up, like, so what happened. I don't know. I just felt like she was quick to fill in the gaps because I don't know if I would go. I, I, I don't know. If someone asked me that, I think I would have been like. Did you think? Oh, I'd be like, you, you thought I died? There was, I don't know. There was something about the way she said it that I was like, huh? But maybe I'm just not thinking about it right. Clap, clap. Yeah, chapter one done. To be fair, Cloud's retelling of the past. He directly accused Sephiroth of killing his mom and Tifa. And then he can't remember what happens after. It's true. And we don't know what happened. We see Cloud and Sephiroth stand each other down. But something happens. Sephiroth doesn't die. I don't think, unless he's never been real. I don't know. <laughs> it's also confusing. Yeah, I mean, we will find out eventually. Yeah. Gets to live out the unique experience. Uh, I get to live out the unique experience thanks to the simulator replicates what it's like to continue to be an awkward time. Puts his foot in his mouth. Stop. Yeah. He brought up red flag. Yeah. At least sleep on the non pauldron side. I mean, honestly, he has two options. He's sleeping on the wrong side. For sure. Oh, overthinking like me. Thank you. I love the company. Lord knows I need it. Sephiroth might be gaslighting everyone. But is it really him? I know. Oh my. Who knows? Yeah, just think about the scene she had with Aerith about Cloud not being there. And then her comment about asking about dying. Is there plenty, plenty, plenty of questions. Trust and believe. We are monumentally confused. As you guys can tell, lovely YouTube people, we have a whole bunch of questions. A whole bunch of things that we don't know, but a whole bunch of things we're very excited to find out. The game is stunning. If for whatever reason there are people watching this video right now and you are on the fence about whether or not to pick it up, please, I know that I'm only a handful of hours into the game. I totally think that this is worthwhile playing. The story is going to be fantastic. I... They are setting up a lot of really interesting things. I'm loving that I'm getting to share this experience with all you guys because I never played the OG and I've not seen any content about that. So like I said, really, really looking forward to it. 
thank you guys so much for spending your time with me if you enjoyed this it would mean the world to me if you can leave a like leave a comment if you really enjoyed yourself it would mean the world to me if you, if you could subscribe to the channel if i'm not so tongue-tied um i expect this to be a very long game so there's a lot of parts coming out i'm hoping i get to see you guys in more parts uh and something that i mentioned at the beginning of this play session that i do want to reiterate now i love um coming up with uh, incentives and ways to reward the lovely twitch chat and and i want to make sure i'm giving you guys fun content so even you youtube lovelies i want to make sure that you're not feeling left out if there are things in mind that you would like to see or things that you want to share like that please feel free to type it in the youtube comments we also have a discord i have socials let me know and with all that being said i will see you in the next part thank you very much for spending your time with me and i hope you enjoyed it and thank you lovely twitch chat